Welcome, welcome to a C103 and Good Guys Radio TV Sports Special Presentation. I'm Don Bolt. Good evening. Southern Ohio Retro Foam installs open and closed cell foam insulation for existing and new construction homes, pole barns, and more. Retro Foam injected foam wall insulation will save you money on your energy bills, decrease noise, and add comfort by sealing even the smallest of openings in your walls, crawl space, or attic, whether you have metal, masonry, or frame construction. Southern Ohio Retro Foam is locally owned and operated and is located in Hillsboro, Ohio. Call Wes at 937-402-0536 to request a free quote. Visit SouthernOhioRetroFoam.com for more information. Whether it's a lightweight entry-level RV or a luxurious second home on wheels that you're looking for, start your family's RV adventure at Sherwood Auto and Camper Sales in Hillsboro. Take advantage of huge savings on leftover 2023 models with five different Coachman lines to choose from. Sherwood also has the largest parts and accessories store in the area, as well as a full service center for all types of RVs. The best family memories are made on a camping trip. Visit Sherwood Auto and Camper Sales, 1460 North High Street in Hillsboro. At Southern Hills Community Bank, we take great pride in building strong relationships with our customers. We're dedicated to providing the best products and services to fit your needs, like checking and savings, home and auto loans, plus ATM and debit cards, online banking, bill pay, and mobile banking with mobile deposit. Visit southernhillscommunitybank.com or stop by any of our eight convenient locations. We want to be your bank. Southern Hills Community Bank, member FDIC and equal housing lender. Customer service with a difference. How well will your roof hold up to heavy wind and rain this spring? You could already have a leak that you don't even know about. Avoid spending thousands of dollars on costly repairs with a free roof inspection by the experts at RoofX. Family owned and operated, RoofX brings decades of industry experience, family values, and a customer first approach to everything they do. Get a no obligation inspection today from RoofX. Call 937-509-8085 or visit RoofXUSA.com. Peace of mind, one roof at a time. One of the most iconic Ohio River properties in Southern Ohio is now available. The former location of Moyer Winery is a 61-acre property with nearly 24 acres of riverside and a half mile of river frontage, plus 38 acres of timber. The existing three-bedroom, two-bathroom home features full-view windows that maximize the incredible river view. Outdoor amenities include a 26 by 44 shelter house, a gazebo, and a 36 by 48 tobacco barn. For more details about this property, visit thedickeygroup.com. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Welcome to a seal of great good guys radio TV sports special presentation. I'm Don Bowles, well, Brett Spencer. Oh, we got fun tonight, ladies and gentlemen. When we get to this level in high school basketball, all the games are good ones. We're looking for a good one tonight. We'll be back. We'll tell you about it. We'll also, Brett and I will talk just a little bit about the game just completed here. But first this, here on Good Guys Radio TV and C103. ProGen's next generation technology flooring is designed to stand up to the demands of modern life and it's available now at the Winchester Carpet Outlet. Because ProGen is durable, waterproof, dimensionally stable and easy to install, it can be used in any room, including rooms that are most prone to moisture and spills like kitchens and baths. For top quality flooring, service and selection at prices that'll floor you, visit the Winchester Carpet Outlet just off State Route 32 on Tri-County Road, just a few miles west of Winchester, Ohio and online at Winchester Carpet Outlet. Outlet.com. Who is Barry Chevrolet? Why don't you ask your friends and neighbors? Because after 70 years and four generations in the automotive industry, odds are we've made a happy customer out of somebody you know. Hard-working, proud Americans drive Chevrolets, and that's why we sell them at Barry's. Hats off to everybody driving a Silverado truck. You're my kind of people. Barry Chevrolet your best deal dealer. What we believe matters because it shapes who we are. At First State Bank, we believe in rural communities we have since our start in 1884. We're proud of where we come from 
And while others have come and gone, we've remained. Because standing by the folks you believe in is what a real local bank does. First State Bank. Built on belief. Snap. Oh, that's your family's stomach hungry for dinner. And the best way to tame that savage beast is by feeding it a beast pizza from Snappy Tomato Pizza. Beast pizza. The beast pizza is equal to three large pizzas. Get one with one topping, only $26.99. Or get the junior beast, bigger than an extra large, with one topping, only $15.99. For fast, snappy delivery, go to snappytomato.com. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Southern Hills Community Bank Tip-Off Show. I'm John Bowles, along with Mr. Brad Spencer. We are at Ohio University, the Conversation Center. It is the Fairfield Lions taking on the Federal Hocking Lancers for a district championship, Southeast Division for Ohio High School Athletic Association basketball. Game just completed here. That's important. It was South Webster taking on the Trimble Tomcats. Final score in that game, 51-34, South Webster. Not a big surprise. South Webster's been ranked in the top ten all season long. Finished fourth on the season. They are a very, very good ball club, and they've got a guy in the middle by the name of Roberts. And uh, this is a pretty nice ball club, isn't it, Brett? Very nice ball club. Eli Roberts and uh, Trimble Ball Club, they're always up here at the Convo year after year. South Webster makes quite a few appearances as well. But it was a game that uh, first quarter, uh, South Webster jumped up 10-6. to six. Kind of a, uh, not a lot of scoring. And then uh, they played even in that second quarter. 21-17 was the score at halftime. But it was in that third quarter that the young man that Don Bowles is talking about, he displayed his prowess, uh, Mr. Eli Roberts. And they uh, jumped out and outscored uh, Tremble by eight. It was 34-22, that final score, 51 to 34, 17-point victory for the South Webster Jeeps. It's a very important game. If you're a uh, Fairfield fan, because whoever wins this next game, and we certainly hope it's the Lions of Fairfield, they are the ones they will play South Webster in a regional semifinal ball game. We're going to take another quick break. We'll be back. The Southern Hills Community Bank tip-off show continues right after this on Good Guys Radio TV and C103. That's the sound of your truck losing you money. Whether you're a major trucking operation or an independent owner, you're losing business. Let me give you some advice. Call Willie and Son Trucking. Their certified Caterpillar, Cummings, and Detroit experts can get your truck moving so you can get back to doing business. Call Willie and Son Trucking for an overhaul or glider kit rebuilt at 937-763-9521. Keep your business rolling with Willie and Son Trucking. I wanted to prove to myself that I could go to college and get my degree. What if I went to Southern State? What if I'm able to go and become that nurse or that lawyer or that teacher? Southern State Community College allows students to rise above the circumstances that they're surrounded by and become something more than they ever dreamed possible. Welcome to Jerry Hig Motors in Hillsborough, your local Chevrolet dealer for over 50 years. I am Steve Haig, owner, along with my twin daughters, Mindy and Mandy. We operate our family-owned business. We take care of our customers like friends and family. If you need a new Chevrolet or pre-owned vehicle, service, parts, or body shop, think of Jerry Haig Motors in Hillsborough. Proudly supporting the youth of our community. Stop in today for a great deal. Trade-ins welcome, financing available to qualified buyers. Trying to find a durable new look for your retail office, house, garage, or new barn dominium? Higgins Steel Roofing and Siding has added two new profiles within the past year that would make great options. A heavier 26-gauge metal board and batten with several colors to choose from adds a fresh new look to any project regardless of size. Or come in and check out our new options for standing seam. If it's steel roofing and siding, it comes from Higgins. Located in Hillsboro and Jackson, Higgins Steel Roofing and Siding. Family owned and operated since 1958. Welcome back again, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Bob Bowles. I'm at Ohio University, the Convocation Center. It's the Southern Hills Community Bank tip off show. Warming up out down in front of us, it's the Fairfield Lions about to take on the uh, Federal Hocking Lancers. But before we do that, 
Uh, I do want to mention that I said that the team that played here in, in front of it, South Webster, won the ball game, would play Fairfield if uh, they should win, and certainly we hope that that would be the case. They will play on Tuesday night. That game would be back here at Ohio University, and it would be at 8 p.m. on Tuesday night. That would be a regional semifinal basketball game. Sweet 16. Boy, that's special stuff now, folks. But there's something else special going on. A lot of you have heard about it, but it bears repeating because there's so much riding on what we talk about next, and that's the C-103 Shaq All-Star Game. March 22nd at North Adams High School. A little more detail on that. Well, what it comes down to is we have already announced a girls basketball team, a boys basketball team, and cheerleaders. And we will have a game starting at 6 p.m. on March 22nd for the girls, a girls game of all the Shaq All-Stars, senior All-Stars. And then they're immediately following that will be a boys game of the senior All-Stars. And, of course, as I said, we'll have cheerleaders, we'll have music. But bigger than that, We'll also have, I should mention, by the way, a hot shot contest and a slam dunk contest. But bigger than that, well, it's the scholarships. Scholarships, we will award thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars worth of scholarships. It's a pretty cool scholarship. We give it to you actually in cash, uh, and uh, you can use it for anything you wish. You can use it for a car to go back and forth to your school. You can use it for uh, at uh, books. You name it, you can use it. And uh, we write you a check for that. Now, how do you get one of those scholarships? You have to be a senior graduating this year in a Southern Hills Athletic Conference school. You have to participate in athletics. And the scholarship is based upon athletics, 75% of it anyway, and 25% on academics and extracurricular activities. We will be accepting those scholarships between now and a week from today. You only have one week to go. If you know a senior athlete that has not filled one out yet, they need to do that. It is not a basketball scholarship. Soccer, baseball, softball, volleyball, it doesn't matter. 75% of their individual accomplishments will go toward winning them a scholarship that will be announced at halftime of the boys' all-star game. That's on March 22nd at North Adams High School. And, again, it's the C-103 Shaq Senior All-Star Games at North Adams. We'll take another quick break. We'll be back. I'll talk to you a little more about some other things going on. But first this, here on the Southern Hills Community Bank Tip-Off Show, here on Good Guys Radio TV and C103. So I thought you quit. I tried. You know that thing can blow up in your face, right? We just watched a video in class about how nicotine can mess up the way your brain develops. (laughs) That's the last thing you need. But for real, you should probably tell your parents. Yeah, I guess you're right. Hey, can you come with me? Yeah, I got you. Let's go. It's almost here. Copas for another long three. Wow. The biggest game of the year. Three-point shot on the buzzer. It's up. It's good. The 39th annual C-103 Shaq Senior All-Star Games are coming Friday, March 22nd. Join us at North Adams High School for a night full of basketball action. Featuring the girls and boys All-Star Games, All-Star Cheerleaders, Hot Shot and Slam Dunk Contests, and more. Doors open at 5. The first games tip off at 6 p.m. Be there. Welcome back again, ladies and gentlemen. Southern Hills Community Bank Tip-Off Show. What's going on, Don Bolswell and Brett Spencer? We are at Ohio University, the Convocation Center. And I want to talk to you about tomorrow, though. We will be back here for a noon tip-off. This is a change in the schedule. It's due to a really good reason, though. Both North Adams girls and North Adams boys will play tomorrow. The girls will be playing tomorrow night for a regional championship and an opportunity to go to the Final Four. The boys, though, their game was supposed to have been tomorrow night. It will be at noon tomorrow. 
from here at Ohio University, the Convocation Center, and they will be playing uh, for a district championship just as we have here tonight. They'll be playing Minford. That game, again, will be on the air at about 11.15. That game, again, tips off at noon. Tomorrow night, though, 7 p.m. from Logan High School, North Adams, Lady Green Devils take on the Portsmouth Lady Trojans. And as usual, when you get to the level of the final uh, one trip to the one step to the final four, good competition. This is two good basketball teams, and all of these teams at this level, of course, are. But boy, this is a Portsmouth Lady Trojans pretty special ball club, and the Lady Green Devils are going to step up and win them one. We certainly hope so. We'll take a quick break. Joining me is going to be Mr. Brett Spencer. We'll talk to you a little bit about federal hockey and the Fairfield Lions. But first, this here on Good Guys Radio TV and C103. It's almost here. Copas for another long three. Wow. The biggest game of the year. Three-point shot on the buzzer. It's up. It's good. The 39th Annual C-103 Shaq Senior All-Star Games are coming Friday, March 22nd. Join us at North Adams High School for a night full of basketball action. Featuring the girls and boys All-Star Games, All-Star Cheerleaders, Hot Shot and Slam Dunk Contests, and more. Doors open at 5. The first games tip off at 6 p.m. Be there. Have you heard the roar of the lion? No, I can't say that we have. Well, allow me to give you a look into that sacred call. Please, enlighten us. The Fairfield Lions rally on the roar, instilling pride and hearts for generations to come. You don't say. I do say. From our excellence in sports to our prestige in academics, you couldn't find a prouder crowd. The Lions must be unbelievable. You've got that right. Fairfield's ever-expanding programs pave way for prime educational opportunities. They truly are second to none. You wouldn't be mistaken there. Continue to the Hills Community Bank Tip-Off Show now as we do talk even in front of us. It's the Federal Hockey Lancers. They come into this ball game. They are 9-1 and one in their respective uh, tournament run, or excuse me, in their, in their conference. The Tri-Valley 2 conference is what they play in. They were tied with Belpre. They also play Waterford, Trimble, the team that just lost here, Southern, that's Racine Southern, and Beaver Eastern as well. This ball club averages 65.42 points per game offensively. They give up 57.13, and they uh, that's a plus 8.3 difference. Uh, this ball club uh, is, we're sitting here looking at them, this is a big ball club. Uh, this is a team, though, that has lost some ball games. Uh, they lost to Belpre, they lost to Warren, and of course the big loss of the season, they last lost back at the end of December to this very Fairfield Lions ball club, 60-47. to 47. Brett, they're a pretty good sized team, aren't they? Pretty good sized team. Don, as you know, I go down there on the floor to get uh, make sure and check the rosters, get starters, and when you get down there, there's a couple players, I would say, sitting at about 6'4", and then a couple more players at 6'3". They're stretchy. Uh, but I, what I like is during warm-ups, they're all standing outside shooting beyond the three-point line. So I like to see them, those big players out there. This is, uh, you talked about this Fairfield ball club uh, as well as this game that they played against uh, Federal Hawking in that first quarter in that game. 20-10, to 10, Fairfield jumped out. Second quarter, it was a game of runs. It was uh, Federal Hawking, 19-10 to 10 is how they scored. And that game was a one-point game, 30-29. to 29, But it was all Fairfield in that third quarter. They outscored. Federal Hawking 16 to 4 ended up being that victory that Don talked about 60 to 47. They were on a five game win streak and they've won 10 out of their last 11. And they also defeated this Trimble team that just lost to South Webster. Big numbers 83 52. Wow, that's a big margin. They defeated Waterford to get here 52 41, the final score. We'll take another break. We'll be back. Brett and I will talk to you a little more in detail about the Fairfield Lions. But first, this here on the Southern Hills Community Bank tip off show here on. Good Guys Radio TV and C103. Southern Ohio Retro Foam installs open and closed cell foam insulation for existing and new construction homes, pole barns, and more. Retro Foam injected foam wall insulation will save you money on your energy bills, decrease noise, and add comfort by sealing even the smallest of openings in your walls, crawl space, or attic, whether you have metal, masonry, or frame construction. Southern Ohio Retro Foam is locally owned and operated and is located in Hillsboro, Ohio. Call Wes at 937-402-0536 to request a free quote. Visit SouthernOhioRetroFoam.com for more information. Whether it's a lightweight entry-level RV or a luxurious second home on wheels that you're looking for, start your family's RV adventure at Sherwood Auto and Camper Sales in Hillsboro. 
Take advantage of huge savings on leftover 2023 models with five different Coachman lines to choose from. Sherwood also has the largest parts and accessories store in the area, as well as a full service center for all types of RVs. The best family memories are made on a camping trip. Visit Sherwood Auto and Camper Sales, 1460 North High Street in Hillsboro. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, Southern Hills Community Bank Tip-Off Show. I'm Don Bowles, along with the inimitable Mr. Brett Spencer. And we are at Ohio University, the Convocation Center. The Fairfield Lions, that's the team we like out on this floor. They finished 11-2 in the league play in the Shack. They finished in first place in Division I. 21-3 overall, averaging 59 points per game and a 39.5 defensive uh, against score. 19.5 difference between their opponents. Uh, Brett, you mentioned the game between them and Federal Hawking. Four guys played, scored in double figures. Not a surprise, right? Not a surprise at all. In fact, in that first outing, it was Larkin Friend. He had 18 points, 10 rebounds. Trey House, 14 points, 3 rebounds. And then you had Logan McIntosh, 11 points, 5 rebounds. And then Gabe Fouch, he rounded out those double digits, 10 points. And it's a ball club that you're going to hear about. Uh, they have three players that average on the season double digits. It's Larkin Friend at 14.8, Logan McIntosh at 12.1, and Trey House at 11.2. It's uh, also a ball club that um, very excellent uh, shooting from the outside, and they like this this gymnasium, uh, especially Cade Miller. He, he really likes it up here. And uh, very fundamentally sound club, excellent shooters from the outside. Victory goes through Larkin Friend, one of the best round out, uh, round out, uh, all-around players. He averages 14.8 points, 9.6 rebounds, 7.6 assists, 3.5 uh, steals. And Don, they are very well coached. Uh, point guard mentality, and in a close game, you want him making the calls. A student of the game, Mr. He Quentin is. Williams. Quentin Williams. Tell you what, Brett, let's go ahead and do that federal hawking roster, why don't we, as we continue the Southern Hills Community Bank tip-off show. Uh, and, uh, yeah, let's hear about that right now, if we could, please. Thank you, Don Bowles. It's going to be uh, 14 players on this tournament roster. It's going to be four seniors. They don't have any sophomores. Six, uh, excuse me, they don't have any juniors. Six sophomores and four freshmen. It's number two, Dylan Haynes. He is a sophomore. A senior, that's Tariq Cottrell. He wears the three jersey. Number four is Noah Blake. He's a sophomore. Number 10 is Evan, Evan excuse me, McPherson. He is a senior. Cameron Joy, he's a sophomore, wears the 12 jersey. Number 20 is Bo Gilcher. He is a freshman. Mosiah Cottrell, he is a sophomore, wears the 22 jersey. 23 is Skylar Lucas, a freshman. Another freshman is Elijah Scott. He wears the 24 jersey. 25 is Aaron Baker, a sophomore. Andrew Earhart, really nice shooter. He's a senior. He wears the 32 jersey. 33, Evan Gall, he's a sophomore. Zane Buckley is a senior. He wears a 34 jersey. And 42 is Keegan Bolin. He is a freshman. The coach is Mr. Jonathan Thompson. He's assisted by Jeremy Tolson, Tyler Thompson, and Caden Chapman. Thank you very much, Brett. We'll take a quick, quick break. We'll be back. We'll talk about those federal, excuse me, those Fairfield Lions. But first this, here on Good Guys Radio TV and C103. At Southern Hills Community Bank, we take great pride in building strong relationships with our customers. We're dedicated to providing the best products and services to fit your needs, like checking and savings, home and auto loans, plus ATM and debit cards, online banking, bill pay, and mobile banking with mobile deposit. Visit southernhillscommunitybank.com or stop by any of our eight convenient locations. We want to be your bank. Southern Hills Community Bank, member FDIC and equal housing lender. Customer service with a difference. How well will your roof hold up to heavy wind and rain this spring? You could already have a leak that you don't even know about. Avoid spending thousands of dollars on costly repairs with a free roof inspection by the experts at RoofX. Family owned and operated, RoofX brings decades of industry experience, family values, and a customer first approach to everything they do. Get a no obligation inspection today from RoofX. Call 937-509-8085 or visit RoofXUSA.com. Peace of mind, one roof at a time. One of the most iconic Ohio River properties in Southern Ohio is now available. The former location of Moyer Winery is a 61-acre property with nearly 24 acres of riverside and a half mile of river frontage, plus 38 acres of timber. The existing three-bedroom, two-bathroom home features full-view windows that maximize the incredible river view. Outdoor amenities include a 26 by 44 shelter house, a gazebo, and a 36 by 48 tobacco barn. For more details about this property, visit thedickeygroup.com. 
Lane Hodson, he wears the 12 jersey. Dane Hodson, excuse me, wears the 12 jersey. He's 5'9", he's a junior. Gabe Fouch, he's 5'11", a senior, wears the 14 jersey. 15, John Ray Lirio, he's 5'7", he's a senior. 5'11", seniors, number 20, Britton Campbell. 23 is Caleb Barrera. He's 5'9", he's a freshman. A 5'11", freshman is Griffin Friend, wearing the 24 jersey. 31, Cade Miller. He's 5'10", he's a senior. Quinton McIntosh, 6'2", sophomore. He wears the 32 jersey, rounding out this roster. Chase Newman, a 6'3", junior. They are coached by Mr. Quinton Williams, assisted by Scott Williams, Jensen Dalton, Raymond Friend, Marcus Burns. The manager, that's Jalen Dalton, the athletic director, Jimmy Barnett, the principal, Stephen Hackett, and the superintendent, Keisha McCoy. Now the young ladies be cheering on their Fairfield Lions. It's going to be Ms. Abigail Collins, Sidney Hooper, Kennedy Zink, Avery Teeters, Ms. Haley Crabtree, Emma Souders, Michaela Brown, Ms. Emmy Caudill, Jillian Harvey, Ava Hooper, and the mascot is Campbell and Friend, and they are coached and advised by Audrey Purvis. Thank you very much, Brad Spencer. We're about to have uh, announcements on the floor of the starters and the like. We've got time for one last break. We're back after this on Good Guys Radio TV and C103. ProGen's next generation technology flooring is designed to stand up to the demands of modern life and it's available now at the Winchester Carpet Outlet. Because ProGen is durable, waterproof, dimensionally stable and easy to install, it can be used in any room, including rooms that are most prone to moisture and spills like kitchens and baths. For top quality flooring, service and selection at prices that'll floor you, visit the Winchester Carpet Outlet just off State Route 32 on Tri-County Road, just a few miles west of Winchester, Ohio and online at Winchester Carpet Outlet. Outlet.com. Who is Barry Chevrolet? Why don't you ask your friends and neighbors? Because after 70 years and four generations in the automotive industry, odds are we've made a happy customer out of somebody you know. Hard-working, proud Americans drive Chevrolets, and that's why we sell them at Barry's. Hats off to everybody driving a Silverado truck. You're my kind of people. Barry Chevrolet your best deal dealer. Once again, we come back for our final break here on the Southern Hills Community Bank tip-off show. We certainly appreciate their support all season long. Here's Brett now with the starters. Thank you, Don Bowles. Uh, for the Federal Hawking Lancers, they're going to start three seniors, two sophomores. It's number three, Tariq Cottrell. He's a senior. Ten, Evan McPherson, a senior. Twelve, Cameron Joy. He's a sophomore. Twenty-two, Mose Mosiah Cottrell, he's a sophomore, and 32, Andrew Earhart, a senior. Now for our Fairfield Lions, four seniors, one junior starting. It's Larkin Friend, a six foot one senior. Trey House, a five foot ten senior. Gabe Faust, five foot eleven senior. Cade Miller, a five foot ten senior. And that junior is Logan McIntosh. He stands six foot four inches tall. Thank you much, Brett. I think we're about ready to have tip-off. We are. Keith Rockmorton, Rod Nichols, Jimmy Nicholson. That'll be your three referees. And the tip is controlled by Fairfield. It'll swing it first time to Fouch and then back out top Larkin Friend to set up the offense as he'll go there left side to Miller then back off the right side once again all ready to Trey House. Everybody gets a touch here in the first round. As once again off the left side working there's House and driving in up nice. on the leaf off the baseline. Cade Miller, I'll get it together. 2-0. Fairfield takes his... 2-0 lead with 7.29 to go in the first. Nice snap pass by Trey House. Cade Miller with the first two points of the game. Federal Hawking in there uh, off the right side. I'll get that in a moment. It's Cottrell. And they'll be back out top now. Working it, there's McPherson. McPherson goes into the paint. Challenged by Friend. A nice clean block by Larkin Friend. And it'll go out of bounds. Score 2-0. Fairfield. As uh, Federal Hawking here, they're the visitors on the scoreboard. They're in burgundy or maroon, whatever you want to call them, uniforms with uh, gold numerals. Looks like it trimmed in burgundy. And then Fairfield, they're in the home uniforms, white with red numerals trimmed in black. Fairfield in man-to-man -man with help side. Two passes away in the paint. Shot up off the left side and underneath, no good. We'll get a foul off of the rebound. And that was... Andrew Earhart taking it in. He draws the foul. Cade Miller picks up that foul. His first, team's first, game's first. Earhart will step to the foul line to shoot two foul shots. Again, the score 2-0, Fairfield. 
Earhart, a very proficient three-point shooter, likes to go on that left side and float left. He hits the first of the two free throws. Next score, 2-1. to one. After the game, we'll sit down with Quinn Williams for our coach's comment show brought to you by ACRMC, Family Medicine Center. We'll do that after the ball game. Earhart settles in. Deep knee bends and the shot. Puts it up, nice foul shot. He ties the game at two apiece. Shout out to Nancy Walker, number one Fairfield Lions fan. Nancy, we hope you're watching, listening, whatever. We uh, are rooting for your Lions. Says, nice pass in underneath, then they kick it left side to foul for a three. It's up off the back, no. Rebound, though, fought for, fought for. Fairfield friend gets it. He'll get it behind the defense, up off the glass and in. Gabe Fouch makes it 4-2. to two. Good hustle, Fairfield. Great find by Larkin Friend. Gabe Fouch wide open on that left baseline. Fairfield retakes the lead now, setting the offense this time. It's Cottrell. He'll feed it uh, bounce pass. He'll get it over there. Back again to McPherson. And now behind the defense, shot up. Oh, good defense. That was uh, McIntosh, I think, with the block as they found Cottrell behind the, behind the defense, and he cleared it out. Wide open, a little long at uh, defense. McIntosh dribbles around, kicks it back out to Fouch again. McIntosh may have gotten away with a little step there. I think you're right, and now we'll go to McIntosh again. Off the right side, he'll challenge the Hawkeyes back out. Again, top. Federal Hawking, this might as well be a home game. You know how far they are here from here, Brett? I do not. 18 minutes. Oh, my. 18 minutes. If you Google it and you know, do the GPS thing, 18 minutes from home. I think oh, this is a home pass. game. Oh, McIntosh <laughs> drives in and puts it up and in. Make it 6-2. to two. Fairfield. Nice movement without the ball by McIntosh. Who found him? You know it's Larkin Friend. Great pass. Off the right side, a shot put up there by McPherson. No good. Rebound back out, Friend. He'll lead pass back out, but it has to save it in. It got a little bit out of place. House could not track it down. The Lancers go the other way. Earhart for a three shot. Nope. Rebound, Friend. Back we go again. 5-13 to go in the first quarter. Fairfield leading 6-2. to two. Fairfield's going to have to find Earhart pretty quick. He took that shot well beyond the college three-point line. Trey House has it, he'll swing it to Fouch again. Fairfield up six to two. Left side there, Miller. Then the go back to House again. Back right side, Larkin Friend for a three. No, rebound back down, Cottrell. That's Mosiah Cottrell. There's Mosiah and Tariq both outside there. And off the side there, Joy. Joy with the basketball, almost loses it away, recovers. And back it'll go now to McPherson. In the corner, and Fairfield's defense is really bothering Federal Hawking right now. I They'll like back. how they're picking up their men. They're extending their defense out beyond the three-point line. They're backing them clear up into the corner. Dribbling off the right side, Cottrell again. In trouble. Step back three. Shot no good. Oh, no, it popped up and popped in. Make it six to five now. It's a nice step back three. Tariq Cottrell, his first three points of the game. And it's time for that scoreboard update brought to you by the tax professionals at H&R Block in West Union. The score is Fairfield 6 and uh, the Lancers 4, and they only gave him a 2 on that last one. Friend dribbles in, a little floater off the front side, misses the shot. Earhart on the rebound. Back we go the other way. Cottrell with the basketball. I would have sworn that was a three, Brad. I marked it as a three. I was sitting there looking right at it, but I'm glad they only counted it as two. Earhart at the foul line. Shot no good. Rebound, Mosiah Cottrell. Back to Earhart it goes. Earhart working against Friend. Shot up off the right side. He makes it go. He ties it six all with 3.27 to go in our first quarter. Nice shot there by Andrew Earhart, his fourth point of the game. At halftime, our... Uh, Producer Lily Randolph will bring you the Higgins Steel Roofing Studio update. Stay for the time for that. Friend just inside the arc for a shot. Yes. Yeah. Eight to six. That one rolled around. He likes those soft rims, I'll bet. He does. Larkin Friend averages right at 15 points a game. That's his first two. Eight to six, the score. Fairfield on top. 2.58 to go in this first quarter. They lead for the third time already here in the ballgame. Snappy Tomato Pizza and Seaman and West Union proudly serves your families. And they're proud to sponsor this broadcast. Snappies, so much taste in a snap. Off the left side, their right side, I should say, show. Joy gets it back out. Left side, shot up, and that was Mosiah Cottrell, I believe. That is correct. Mosiah Cottrell puts it up and in. 
and the Lancers take their first lead of the game. They lead nine to eight, two minutes and 29 seconds to go in our first quarter. And McIntosh, a jumper off the right side. And we're gonna get a foul. Will that be an and one? It will, no, they're gonna wave it off. Player control foul, checking in for the Federal Hawking. That's gonna be Mr. Zane Buckley. He's a senior, wears the 34 jersey. Hmm, that's interesting. Yep. Uh, two minutes, 21 seconds to go first quarter. The Lancers leading by one, make it nine to eight the score, 218 to go, and we're gonna have what? A uh, just a little stop to play, get a uh, shoe tied down there. That uh, Trey House, who is assigned to try and stop Andrew Earhart, he's had a shoelace get loose. Another reminder as the dribbling ahead, there's Joy, Cameron Joy, to get it there to Tariq Cottrell. Tariq off the screen, picked up out there by Fouch. Tariq goes into the paint, little floater up and in. Make it 11 to eight, and the Lancers take a three-point lead. Creek Cottrell now four points in the game for Federal Hawking. Larkin Friend crosses the midcourt, bounce pass far right side over there to Trey House. Back and come to Miller and now to Friend again. Friend, little dribble drive, now McIntosh for a three. No, rebound back down, it'll go to the Lancers. Back the other way we go to Cottrell. Minute 36 to go in the first quarter. Fairfield 0 for 3 from beyond the arc in this first quarter. They trail by 3, 11 to 8. We're at the 126 mark first quarter. And now Earhart gets the ball back over to Tariq. Tariq back out to the trailer there. Buckley. And now driving in McPherson. Shot up, no good. Rebound back down. Cade Miller for Fairfield. And now Friend. 11 to 8 the score. A minute 7 to go in our first quarter. Fairfield trails by 3. Friend dishes it there to McIntosh. McIntosh dribbles around off the right side, back out to Friend in the corner for a three shot. No, pops back out. Rebound to Reek Cottrell again. Back the other way. Now Earhart for a three shot, up and in. Wow. 14 to eight. And uh, Federal Hawking takes a six point lead. Quick Ford. release by, sorry Don. You're fine. Quick release by Earhart for his seventh point of the game. 14-8 now is the score. Federal Hawking on top of Fairfield. As McIntosh with the basketball. Swings it back left side to Miller and then down in the left corner to House. And as quickly as Fairfield jumped out to a lead, they have gone that cold here at the end of this first quarter. Larkin Friend in among the trees. Kicks it back out there to Miller. Back out will go now House for a three. Up off the top, no good. Friend on the rebound puts it back up and in. They get 14 to 10 now. Hawking ahead, and the shot up off top. Nope, we'll end the quarter. We're back after this. Score 14-10, Federal Hawking. We're back after this on Good Guys Radio TV and C103. What we believe matters because it shapes who we are. At First State Bank, we believe in rural communities we have since our start in 1884. We're proud of where we come from. And while others have come and gone, we've remained. Because standing by the folks you believe in is what a real local bank does. First State Bank, built on belief. Snap, Grr, snap, Grr, snap, be to me. Oh, that's your family's stomach hungry for dinner. And the best way to tame that savage beast is by feeding it a beast pizza from Snappy Tomato Pizza. Beast pizza. The beast pizza is equal to three large pizzas. Get one with one topping, only $26.99. Or get the junior beast, bigger than an extra large, with one topping, only $15.99. For fast, snappy delivery, go to snappytomato.com. Snappy delivery. That's the sound of your truck losing you money. Whether you're a major trucking operation or an independent owner, you're losing business. Let me give you some advice. Call Willie and Son Trucking. Their certified Caterpillar, Cummings, and Detroit experts can get your truck moving so you can get back to doing business. Call Willie and Son Trucking for an overhaul or glider kit rebuild at 937-763-9521. Keep your business rolling with Willie and Son Trucking. We begin the second quarter. 
And the Lancers have the basketball. They lead as well, 14 to 10. That'll come to Earhart. Bounce pass back over to Tariq Cottrell. A turnaround three up and in. Wow. Nice shooting basketball team. 17 to 10. That puts the league back up to seven now. Friend back out to McIntosh. Third tray for federal hawking in this first half. And a steal of the basketball. Cottrell, he'll go the other way, driving in up and in. Make it 19 to 10. That's the biggest lead of the game. We've got timeout. Fairfield, we're back after this on Good Guys Radio TV and C103. I wanted to prove to myself that I could go to college and get my degree. What if I went to Southern State? What if I'm able to go and become that nurse or that lawyer or that teacher? Southern State Community College allows students to rise above the circumstances that they're surrounded by and become something more than they ever dreamed possible. Welcome to Jerry Hague Motors in Hillsboro, your local Chevrolet dealer for over 50 years. I am Steve Haig, owner, along with my twin daughters, Mindy and Mandy. We operate our family-owned business. We take care of our customers like friends and family. If you need a new Chevrolet or pre-owned vehicle, service, parts, or body shop, think of Jerry Hague Motors in Hillsboro. Proudly supporting the youth of our community. Stop in today for a great deal. Trade-ins welcome. Financing available to qualified buyers. On the top of the key, easy layup for Cockrell. And off the right side over there, uh, there's a new guy out there, Griffin Friend now. House back up to Larkin Friend. And back over to House again and now to Miller. Federal Hawking does a nice job closing out beyond the arc. Not even give really a clear attempt for Fairfield at this point. Trey House, couple crossover dribbles at the elbow, kicks it. We'll get what, a foul underneath maybe? 6.29 to go in our second quarter. The score 19 to 10. It is the Lancers leading the Lions, and it's a foul against the Lancers. Dylan Haynes just into the game on that quarter break. That's his first foul. Team's first. Coming in this up, game. Excuse me, coming up the half. It's the Barry Chevrolet Halftime Report. Stay tuned as we give you keys to the second half. Yes, now with the basketball, it's Friend. That's Griffin Friend. Griffin, as we said, just in the game. He's a 5'11 freshman for Fairfield. Skip pass over to Miller. And Fairfield taking the time. That's not necessarily a bad thing. McIntosh drives in, shot up, no good. He's fouled, I believe. Nope, they're going to say it was before the shot. You know, this coverage sponsored by Southern State Community College. Visit sscc.edu to begin your pathway to completion today. Cameron Joy picked up his first foul. Checking in, back in, is Evan McPherson. He's a senior for Federal Hawking. 19 to 10 is the score. Federal Hawking on top, 6.05 to go in this first half. Larkin Friend has the ball out off the wing. Still has his dribble. He'll find it, put it on the floor. 5.56 to go in the first half. A hop and a skip. Friend, scoop shot There's and one. There's your one, Don Bowles. Nice move by Larkin Friend. Very right. patient drive. And it's time for that scoreboard update brought to you by H&R Block in West Union, your tax and financial partner. The score, 19 to 12. It is Federal Hawking leading Fairfield. Andrew Earhart picks up that foul. His first team's third, second quarter. Friend steps up, and he makes that free throw. He has seven points in the game for Larkin Friend. He pulls his team within six now, 19-13 the score. As Brett mentioned, the first meeting between these two teams, it was a game of runs as the ball knocked away. Cottrell recovers it, though. Seems to be our turn, Don Bowles. Three shot up off the wing. Wow. Oh, my, how he did that over the top of a pretty nice defense there by Friend. I don't know, make it 22-13, back to a nine-point lead. Second three-pointer by Tariq Cottrell. He now has 12 points. He leads all scorers in the game. Now they'll find McIntosh down for a shot up off the front. He nice. tips it back up and in. Nice job staying with it from McIntosh. Make it 22-15 now. It's back to a seven-point game, 5-10 to go in our first half. Again at the half, it's the Higgins Steel Roofing Studio update. That's during the Barry's Chevrolet halftime report. Dribbling around out there is oh, McPherson. There and we'll get a traveling call and a turnover. Drug a foot there. That's going to be the first turnover on Federal Hawking in this first half. 
in is going to be Gabe Fouch. He'll be replacing, I believe that's uh, I believe Griffin it's, Friend. Yes, Griffin Friend, I believe. 22-15 the score. It's the Lancers leading the Lions. 4.54 to go in our first half. You know, this broadcast brought to you in part by First State Bank with locations throughout Ohio and Kentucky. And they've got new locations coming soon in Maysville and Portsmouth. And now McIntosh dribbling off the right side. Oh, Spin nice. move up and in. My goodness. That was a big boy move. That was a big boy move. Nice little drop step there. Logan McIntosh now six points. 22-17 the score. Bounce pass back out there off the left to McPherson. Bounce pass. They tried to go inside. And McIntosh did a good job of stopping it. Earhart to Cottrell. Shot off the glass. Nope. Rebound. McIntosh. Challenged by Friend. No good for Federal Hawking. Ahead, Fouch. And he'll take a little extra slide step there. It's only the second turnover on uh, Fairfield in this game, and Federal Hawking only with one turnover in this game. Five-point game, 22-17. to 17. Federal Hawking on top of the Fairfield Lions, 4.05 to go in the first half. Brent, I'm happy with what just happened. It's almost like the momentum has shifted a little bit. You can feel it. I agree. Fairfield getting back in charge in the ball game. McIntosh plate taking his defender off the dribble. Nice drop step. It felt good. As Joy has it off the right side. Tries to go inside. Another turnover. Larkin friend gets it this time. Larkin quickly at ahead far right side to House. House goes baseline, kicks it to back to Larkin. Now inside to Miller. Back out left side to Fouch. Fouch a hop and a skip. Inside shot no good. Defended very well there by the by Cottrell. And Cottrell loses the ball away. Earhart gets it back though. And now we'll get a nothing. I thought they were gonna, I thought there was a whistle, but no, instead it'll go back out to Tariq Cottrell off the wing. Again, the score 22-17. Lancers leading the Lions. Spin move and almost taken away again. And Brett, you can feel that momentum change, can't you? I agree. The, uh, the defense of Fairfield right now is causing Federal Hawking some difficulty. They just had the third turnover, three possessions. The last three possessions have resulted in turnovers for Federal Hawking. Join Ben Higgins tomorrow morning at 945. And just before our tip-off on our second game, or 445 tomorrow afternoon, two versions of the uh, Shaq pregame report brought to you by Ron Lynch with Redward Jones Investments in Maysville and People Save a Lot. Make sure you tune in for that, both versions of it. As it's tipped away, Friend loses it, and there will be a recovery call, recovery foul against Larkin Friend. And they give it up with uh, trailing 22-17 with 2.51 to go in the half. Harkin Friend picks up his first foul. Team's first in the second half, or second yeah, quarter, excuse me. They'll put the ball in play in the backcourt. Into McPherson it comes. And uh, then to the hands of Joy. And the ball tipped away. Good defense by Miller. And we've got timeout on the floor. No, I, they tried. Quentin Williams tried to get a timeout and get a possession out of that. Caden Miller went hard into the scorer's table. He's right back up. He's assigned to be with Cameron Joy. We just discovered that uh, Cade's head is harder than the score, scorer's table. 22-17 <laughs> the score, 2.42 to go in our first half. Foul called there against Fairfield. Tomorrow at noon, we'll be back up here again. North Adams takes on Minford. Boys, Division Three, district final. That foul called on Trey House, his first. Ball tipped away. Earhart saves it. Joy off the right side, up and in. Oh, excuse me, that was McPherson. Evan McPherson makes it 24-17 on a nice tip off the front of the basket. A great floor awareness by Earhart. Ball going out of bounds. He throws it behind his back. Gabe Fouch has the ball. He'll swing it there to McIntosh. And McIntosh just inside the arc. No good, but Friend cleans it up with a deuce. What a quick release by Larkin Friend for his ninth point of the game. That'll cut that lead back to five again, 24-19. Fairfield fans are out in force. There's a shot up off the right side. No good. Rebound McIntosh. But the Fairfield faithful are here in force. What a huge crowd has come all the way up here for Fairfield. A good showing for the Fairfield fans. Absolutely. McIntosh has the ball knocked away. Tariq Cottrell driving the other way. Shot missed. Good defense on the part of McIntosh. He'll get the rebound. Out of bounds it goes, and Fairfield will get it back. That is twice 
that McIntosh has been picked at the top of the key. He'll be stepping out. I think Coach would like to talk to him a little bit. Checking back in, that's going to be Mr. Griffin Friend, 5'11 freshman. We have a timeout on the floor. We'll be back after this on Good Guys Radio TV Network and C103. Trying to find a durable new look for your retail office, house, garage, or new barn dominium? Higgins Steel Roofing and Siding has added two new profiles within the past year that would make great options. A heavier 26-gauge metal board and batten with several colors to choose from adds a fresh new look to any project regardless of size. Or come in and check out our new options for standing seam. If it's steel roofing and siding, it comes from Higgins. Located in Hillsboro and Jackson, Higgins Steel Roofing and Siding. Family owned and operated since 1958. The score is 24-19 with a minute and 43 to go in our first half. It is Federal Hawking leading the Fairfield Lions. But again, Brett, I like what I feel here from Fairfield, don't you? I do too, uh, Fairfield, although still trailing by five. The intensity's picked up. They're getting uh, some nice looks down in, inside the paint. They'll get it to House. Out off the right side now, Larkin Friend will set that offense again. Out there now, it's House, Friend, as well as uh, Griffin Friend. That's Larkin and Griffin both. Gabe Fouch, as well as Miller. And the ball oh. taken away. An errant pass going the other way is Joy. And shot up and in. And that was Earhart, excuse me, not Joy. Andrew Earhart puts it up and make the score 26-19. It's back to a seven-point spread. Federal Hawking with the lead. Andrew Earhart now nine points for Federal Hawking. 105 to go in the first half. We need to cut that lead a little closer now as we move toward the halftime. Larkin Friend with the basketball out right side to Miller and now far right side to House. And now a shot just outside the arc. Nope, rebound to Rick Cottrell. And we'll get yep. a player control file against. Rick Cottrell comes swinging out with that elbow on that rebound. Ooh. Rod Nichols right there on him. Uh-oh, now we got a technical. As he said, who me? And that's expensive because that's two personal fouls. I don't know if they called it a technical. I think they called it an intentional or flagrant. Let's see which one it was. The reason I said that, Brett, and you may be exactly right. The reason I said this because he waited so long. Yeah. Because Tariq Cottrell was having a conversation over there with his coach as Larkin Friend will hit the first foul shot. Mark and Friend now two for two from the free throw line. He's a 79% free throw shooter on the season. He's now 54 for 68 on the year. And he missed the second foul shot, and you're correct. It was only an intentional or flagrant because they've only given him one foul. It would have been two fouls had it been a technical. Fairfield will maintain possession. Excuse me, Don You're Bowles. fine. 26 to 20 it is. Federal Hawking leading Fairfield. Larkin Friend will get the ball in play, we hope, and he does. And it comes there to Miller. 45 seconds to go in the half. As Larkin takes a look back to Quentin Williams to see in directions. Gabe Fouch off the left side. Now they're going to Friend. Back out top to McIntosh. 33 seconds to go now. Fouch has it. Now a top, McIntosh for a three, and he oh, buries there it. There we go. Yes, sir. 26-22 the score. Logan McIntosh, nine points for Fairfield. The Lions are back within, excuse me, I should say 26-23. They're back within three. As Cottrell has it out off the wing, off the screen. And a little push and shove. He got by with it. Cottrell misses the three, though. Now we're down on the buzzer, the shot up. Nope, we'll end the half. It is Federal Hawking leading Fairfield 26-23. Up next, it's a Barry's Chevrolet halftime report and the Higgins Steel Roofing Studio update. But first this, here on Good Guys Radio TV and C103. <laughs> So I thought you quit. I tried. You know that thing can blow up in your face, right? We just watched a video in class about how nicotine can mess up the way your brain develops. <laughs> That's the last thing you need. But for real, you should probably tell your parents. Yeah, I guess you're right. Hey, can you come with me? Yeah, I got you. Let's go. It's almost here. Copas for another long three. Wow. 
the biggest game of the year. Three-point shot on the buzzer. It's up. It's good. The 39th annual C103 Shaq Senior All-Star Games are coming Friday, March 22nd. Join us at North Adams High School for a night full of basketball action. Featuring the girls and boys all-star games, all-star cheerleaders, hot shot and slam dunk contests, and more. Doors open at 5. The first games tip off at 6 p.m. Be there. Have you heard the roar of the lion? No, I can't say that we have. Well, allow me to give you a look into that sacred call. Please, enlighten us. The Fairfield Lions rally on the roar, instilling pride and hearts for generations to come. You don't say. I do say. From our excellence in sports to our prestige in academics, you couldn't find a prouder crowd. The Lions must be unbelievable. You've got that right. Fairfield's ever-expanding programs pave way for prime educational opportunities. They truly are second to none. You wouldn't be mistaken there. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's the Barry Chevrolet Halftime Report. I'm Don Bowles along with Brett Spencer. Here at the half, the score is 26-23. It's anybody's ball game. Tomorrow at noon, North Adams takes on Menford. Boys basketball in a district championship division three. Tomorrow night, 7 p.m., it's the North Adams Lady Green Devils taking on the Portsmouth Lady Tro Trojans as they compete for a trip to the Final Four. We're back after this. It's a Higgins Steel Roofing Studio update here on Good Guys Radio TV and C103. Southern Ohio Retro Foam installs open and closed cell foam insulation for existing and new construction homes, pole barns, and more. Retro Foam injected foam wall insulation will save you money on your energy bills, decrease noise, and add comfort by sealing even the smallest of openings in your walls, crawl space, or attic, whether you have metal, masonry, or frame construction. Southern Ohio Retro Foam is locally owned and operated and is located in Hillsboro, Ohio. Call Wes at 937-402-0536 to request a free quote. Visit SouthernOhioRetroFoam.com for more information. Whether it's a lightweight entry-level RV or a luxurious second home on wheels that you're looking for, start your family's RV adventure at Sherwood Auto and Camper Sales in Hillsboro. Take advantage of huge savings on leftover 2023 models with five different coachman lines to choose from. Sherwood also has the largest parts and accessories store in the area, as well as a full service center for all types of RVs. The best family memories are made on a camping trip. Visit Sherwood Auto and Camper Sales, 1460 North High Street in Hillsboro. At Southern Hills Community Bank, we take great pride in building strong relationships with our customers. We're dedicated to providing the best products and services to fit your needs, like checking and savings, home and auto loans, plus ATM and debit cards, online banking, bill pay, and mobile banking with mobile deposit. Visit southernhillscommunitybank.com or stop by any of our eight convenient locations. We want to be your bank. Southern Hills Community Bank, member FDIC and equal housing lender. Customer service with a difference. How well will your roof hold up to heavy wind and rain this spring? You could already have a leak that you don't even know about. Avoid spending thousands of dollars on costly repairs with a free roof inspection by the experts at RoofX. Family owned and operated, RoofX brings decades of industry experience, family values, and a customer first approach to everything they do. Get a no obligation inspection today from RoofX. Call 937-509-8085 or visit RoofXUSA.com. Peace of mind, one roof at a time. One of the most iconic Ohio River properties in Southern Ohio is now available. The former location of Moyer Winery is a 61-acre property with nearly 24 acres of riverside and a half mile of river frontage, plus 38 acres of timber. The existing three-bedroom, two-bathroom home features full-view windows that maximize the incredible river view. Outdoor amenities include a 26 by 44 shelter house, a gazebo, and a 36 by 48 tobacco barn. For more details about this property, visit thedickeygroup.com.
ProGen's next generation technology flooring is designed to stand up to the demands of modern life. And it's available now at the Winchester Carpet Outlet. Because ProGen is durable, waterproof, dimensionally stable, and easy to install, it can be used in any room, including rooms that are most prone to moisture and spills, like kitchens and baths. For top quality flooring, service, and selection at prices that'll floor you, visit the Winchester Carpet Outlet just off State Route 32 on Tri-County Road, just a few miles west of Winchester, Ohio, and online at Winchester Carpet Outlet. Who is Barry Chevrolet? Why don't you ask your friends and neighbors? Because after 70 years and four generations in the automotive industry, odds are we've made a happy customer out of somebody you know. Hard-working, proud Americans drive Chevrolets, and that's why we sell them at Barry's. Hats off to everybody driving a Silverado truck. You're my kind of people. Barry Chevrolet your best deal dealer. What we believe matters because it shapes who we are. At First State Bank, we believe in rural communities we have since our start in 1884. We're proud of where we come from. And while others have come and gone, we've remained because standing by the folks you believe in is what a real local bank does. First State Bank, built on belief. Snap. Grr, snap. Grr, snap. Grr. Snap. Oh, that's your family's stomach hungry for dinner. And the best way to tame that savage beast is by feeding it a beast pizza from Snappy Tomato Grr, Pizza. Beast pizza. The beast pizza is equal to three large pizzas. Get one with one topping, only $26.99. Or get the junior beast, bigger than an extra large, with one topping, only $15.99. For fast, snappy delivery, go to snappytomato.com. Back, ladies and gentlemen, score 26-23 is a very Chevrolet halftime report. Brett Spencer, we got something to talk about the archery team, the North Adams archery team. Yeah, they're going to be competing in the uh, state up at uh, the Kasich Center up on the Ohio State Fairgrounds, and good luck to them. And also another uh, tournament going on right now, state, uh, state tournament. We've got Ethan Cantrell. He's now advanced to the final 12 in state wrestling. Yes, Ethan from West Union. Go, Ethan, and go, archers, and keep that arrow straight. <laughs> Brett, quick thought. Quick thoughts about. Uh, quick thoughts about the first half. Well, for Federal Hawking, they've uh, they had four three pointers for us, 0 for five for Fairfield, and uh, they're going to have to do a little bit better job closing out on Tariq Cottrell as well as Andrew Earhart. That's really where the only scoring is coming uh, from. And then uh, for us, I like to see Trey House get involved. But I like where we're at. I don't. I'm not worried at this point. I like the position we're in, and uh, Logan McIntosh seems to be able to take his uh, defender off the dribble. We're back, second half action, right after this, as we continue the Barry Chevrolet Halftime Report here on Good Guys Radio TV and C103. That's the sound of your truck losing you money. Whether you're a major trucking operation or an independent owner, you're losing business. Let me give you some advice. Call Willie and Son Trucking. Their certified Caterpillar, Cummings, and Detroit experts can get your truck moving so you can get back to doing business. Call Willie and Son Trucking for an overhaul or glider kit rebuild at 937-763-9521. Keep your business rolling with Willie and Son Trucking. I wanted to prove to myself that I could go to college and get my degree. What if I went to Southern State? What if I'm able to go and become that nurse or that lawyer or that teacher? Southern State Community College allows students to rise above the circumstances that they're surrounded by and become something more than they ever dreamed possible. Welcome to Jerry Hig Motors in Hillsboro, your local Chevrolet dealer for over 50 years. I am Steve Haig, owner, along with my twin daughters, Mindy and Mandy. We operate our family-owned business. We take care of our customers like friends and family. If you need a new Chevrolet or pre-owned vehicle, service, parts, or body shop, think of Jerry Haig Motors in Hillsboro. Proudly supporting the youth of our community. Stop in today for a great deal. Trade-ins welcome. Financing available to qualified buyers. Trying to find a durable new look for your retail office, house, garage, or new barn dominium? Higgins Steel Roofing and Siding has added two new profiles within the past year that would make great options. 
A heavier 26 gauge metal board and batten with several colors to choose from adds a fresh new look to any project regardless of size. Or come in and check out our new options for standing seam. If it's steel roofing and siding, it comes from Higgins. Located in Hillsboro and Jackson, Higgins Steel Roofing and Siding. Family owned and operated since 1958. Just in time, folks, for Fairfield to put the ball in play and begin the second half. Fairfield trails 26-23 to the Federal Hawking Lancers. Larkin Friend has it. Defeated far right side to McIntosh in this half. Fairfield works to our right. Federal Hawking to our left. If you're not watching us on Good Guys Radio TV, Larkin Friend drives in for mm. a shot up and gets it back, though. Loose ball, no. Loose ball back and loose ball back the other way. Missed a shot that he probably would hit any other time. He will hit it the next time. That's okay. We'll go the other way. Tariq Cottrell out top with the ball, working against Gabe Fouch. Bounce pass left side. Over there to Joy. Now from the corner, oh. Earhart shot up. Nope. I think they're call moving, uh, moving screen on Joy. And they are. That's a good call for Fairfield. No, it was on McPherson, excuse me. His first, team's first in this third quarter. Adams County Medical Foundation uh, asks all parents and grandparents to talk to their teens about the dangers of vaping. Download the Talk They Hear You app for more information. Larkin Friend will bring it to the midcourt. 7-14 to go in the third quarter. Friend dribbling off the side. A three-point ball game. Kicks it to the left corner. House for a three. It's up. He liked it, but it wouldn't stay down. Rebound back down. Cottrell. That's Mosiah Cottrell. Out to Tariq. Tariq. Oh, he got by with a little shove there. And now we'll get a carry of the ball and a turnover against Cottrell. Yeah, that, that ball went left the hand of Trey House in that left corner. I was ready to mark it down. Yeah, I thought, uh, anyway, 6.55 to go, third quarter, 26-23 the score. A trip to the sweet 16 on the line here. Larkin Friend, a jump shot off the left corner, no, uh, excuse me, from the left elbow, shot no good. Cottrell out ahead there to Joy. Joy, a little hesitation, shot up off the glass and in. Make it 28-23. Cameron Joy, his first two points of the game. Brett, I mentioned Nancy Walker a little earlier, the number one Lions fan, is uh, Fouch for a three shot. Nope, and boy, the lid is on the basket for Fairfield. But I understand Nancy's at home a little under the weather. As a turnover, Federal Hawking does a favor. Uh, Nancy, we're thinking about you. Hopefully, uh, uh, Lions can come out and win this ball game, and you can attend the next one. Always, Six. always nice to walk in that Fairfield gym, and Nancy's sitting right there in that first or second section, pretty close down to the floor, always with a smile and always with a hug. Hope she's doing well. Larkin Friend at the midcourt, 6-12 to go third quarter, 28-23 the score. Ahead right side, Fouch has the basketball back out to Friend again. And they have that defense spread way all over the floor. Yeah, great spacing by Fairfield. Larkin Friend, dribbling left side. Step through, shot up, off the nice. glass and in. Larkin Friend now 12 points and a nice step through. 28-25 the score, it's back to a two point game. Tariq Cottrell will set the offense. He'll work it to the left this time. Gabe Fouch and he have become best friends during this ballgame. <laughs> yeah, Gabe Fouch is really extended defense out there on Tariq Cottrell. Earhart quick off the dribble. Wow. Shot up and in. And I don't know how he did that. That was beautiful shot. 12 points for Andrew Earhart. 31-25 the score. And you know what? He doesn't do any celebrating or anything. No. He just puts it up and in and takes off the other way. Acts like he's been there, huh? Yes, he does. Miller. Just sit there to Fouch, back out to Friend. 5-12 to go in the third quarter. Once again, the score, 31-25. It's back to a six-point difference. Hey, let's give a shout-out to Willie and Son Trucking, just south of Leesburg, north of Hillsboro. Shot from the corner for Miller. It's up and in. Give him a three. 31-28. Fairfield answers. That's what we needed. Cade Miller now with five points in the game. Mosiah Cottrell has the ball at top. Probably not who they want to have it. Earhart back over right side there to McPherson. Not a Tariq. Tariq a step back three, and he buries wow. it. Oh, my goodness. Timeout on the floor. Fairfield, we're back after this on Good Guys Radio, TV, and C103. <laughs> So I thought you quit. I tried.
You know that thing can blow up in your face, right? We just watched a video in class about how nicotine can mess up the way your brain develops. <laughs> That's the last thing you need. But for real, you should probably tell your parents. Yeah, I guess you're right. Hey, can you come with me? Yeah, I got you. Let's go. The winner of this game goes on to play South Webster, 8 p.m. on Tuesday here at Ohio University for the uh, regional semifinal. South Webster defeating, winning their ball game 51-34 over Trimble. As McIntosh with the ball goes, swings it left side to Miller. Down Bowles Federal Hawking now with 18 points from beyond the arc, only three from beyond the arc for Fairfield. Federal Hawking red hot outside the arc. Fouch in the corner, back out to Friend. 4.16 to go in our third quarter. Again, it's time for that H&R Block scoreboard update. Jeff Newman and his staff in West Union. Back out right side to House. The score, 34 for Fed Hawking and 28 for Fairfield. And the shot missed off the left side. Out to Earhart to Cottrell. Dumble seems like we're able to beat them off the dribble. We just have to take advantage of some of these easy opportunities. It's like they're not finishing. Right. And I'm not sure if that's the case. It's just uh, as the ball, it's a tie-up. And I think that's the first dual possession we've had in the ball game. That is correct. Nice defense closing out now. Trey House, he's going to be on Earhart. And I tell you, that last shot by Earhart, House was right on top of him. That last shot by Cottrell, that was good defense by Fouch. We yes. talked to him on the uh, timeout break that uh, good defense. Just what do you stop? Yeah, you cannot. Uh, fault the defense at this point. Earhart, turnaround, off the dribble, oh off and in. Same thing. I don't know how you defend that. 37-28 now. Back to a nine-point ball game, and Fairfield's got to find an answer to shut down that three-point shot. Such a quick release by Earhart. Had two defenders on him. He now has 15 points in the game. Friend, a little hop and a skip, up off the glass and in. There's a little bit of an answer. 37-30. Let's go, Lions. Let's get a stop. Mark and Friend now 14 points for Fairfield. Tariq Cottrell out off the right wing. Couple of crossovers. Crossover again. Bounce pass behind the defense. Shot up off the rim. No. McPherson misses it. Rebound Larkin Friend. Good stop. Let's get another point. Now McIntosh in the corner to go to House. House. Bounce pass far side to Fouch. Back out to Friend. Back to Fouch. Underneath off the baseline. There we up go. and in and one. <laughs> 37-32 now, back within five. It's a game of runs, remember. Join us before each game as we bring you the Southern Hills Community Bank tip-off show. That's presented by Southern Hills Community Bank, featuring eight locations across Adams, Brown, and Highland Counties. Terry Cottrell just picked up his second foul. Team second going the line. Mr. Gabe Fouch, he has four points, looking to make it in one, and he does. Make it 37-33. We're back to a four-point game. Now let's get another stop. Two minutes, 44 seconds to go in our third quarter. What nice a little nice five-point five run by Fairfield. Cottrell off the right side, back to Earhart for another quick three. That one's off the front. And he finally missed one. Fouch at the midcourt, gets it back out to Friend. Friend dribbling out off the left wing. Little dribble around. Goes far left side to House. House back out again to Miller. And Fairfield at least has figured out the white line is the three-point line. We had some teams the other night and some other players, I think they thought it was the black line. As uh, that's the college line. Bounce pass right side to McIntosh. McIntosh step back three up go. and in. There you go. 37-36. Back to a one-point ball game. We're going to give McIntosh a two-pointer instead of a three-pointer there. Shot up this time off the left side by Joy. Nope, rebound down underneath. Fouch, make it 37-35, by the way, on that. Wide play. open. Yeah. Trey House finds, he gets down a right baseline. Great pass by Friend. It's a timeout on the floor. We'll be back after this one. Good guys, Radio TV Network, and C-103. 
It's almost here. Copas for another long three. Wow. The biggest game of the year. Three-point shot on the buzzer. It's oh! up. It's good. The 39th annual C-103 Shaq Senior All-Star Games are coming Friday, March 22nd. Join us at North Adams High School for a night full of basketball action. Featuring the girls and boys all-star games, all-star cheerleaders, hot shot and slam dunk contests, and more. Doors open at 5. The first games tip off at 6 p.m. Be there. Minute and 34 seconds to go in our third quarter. It's tied 37 all. And Brett, we talk about it being a game of runs. The run. Oh, my. 9 0 run. Yes. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> uh, and at, at this level, especially, you know, there's a lot of times we, finish, we, we have games in the season where maybe the teams aren't at this quality. Well, not maybe. A lot of sometimes they aren't. But when you get two teams at this quality, they are very, very explosive, and almost anything can happen. Yeah, it was nice. Uh, McIntosh, nice shot out here on this right wing, and then right back comes Trey House for his first two points. Trey House averages 11.2. I was wondering when he was going to uh, get that lid off the basket. One point, one minute and 34 seconds to go in the third quarter. We're tied at 37 all. In the game, it's going to be Griffin Friend for Fairfield out of that timeout break. Joy, a couple crossover dribbles working against Griffin Friend. Friend dribbles right side. Drives in, a little bounce pass off the left side, out of bounds it goes. McPherson could not track it down. That's a stop in Fairfield, an opportunity to take the lead here. Federal Hawking had three turnovers first half. They have three turnovers in this third quarter. Tie ball game, 37-37, 1.15 to go in the third quarter. Fairfield with possession. McIntosh out to Miller to Friend. That's Larkin Friend. Now to House, now in the corner. It's a shot uh -huh. up and in for a three. Off the bench, Griffin Friend, give him three. The freshman puts him ahead 40 to 37 with 56 seconds to go in the third quarter. And now Tariq Cottrell uh -huh. finds a man behind the defense. McPherson puts it up and in for an easy bucket. And make it 40-39 now. Fairfield up by one. McPherson with four points. Larkin Friend goes right side to Miller. Bounce pass now down in the corner of the house. Looking, and the ball almost knocked away. Good recovery by McIntosh. Exactly. He's playing a nice ball game. Yes, he is. McIntosh, a hop and a skip, oh. half hook up and in. What about that long reach? How about that long reach? Just fingertip roll, kiss off the glass, give him 13 points now for Logan McIntosh. Stick around after the final buzzers with the game with the stats and the coaches' comments shown more. In the Willie and Son Trucking postgame show, Cottrell goes to the right corner there to McPherson. Shot up for three and in. Make it a tie game again at 42 all as we end the third quarter. We're back after this on Good Guys Radio TV and C103. It's almost here. Copas for another long three. Wow. The biggest game of the year. Three-point shot on the buzzer. It's oh! up. It's good. The 39th annual C-103 Shaq Senior All-Star Games are coming Friday, March 22nd. Join us at North Adams High School for a night full of basketball action. Featuring the girls and boys All-Star Games, All-Star Cheerleaders, Hot Shot and Slam Dunk Contests, and more. Doors open at 5. The first games tip off at 6 p.m. Be there. Have you heard the roar of the lion? No. I can't say that we have. Well, allow me to give you a look into that sacred call. Please, enlighten us. The Fairfield Lions rally on the roar, instilling pride and hearts for generations to come. You don't say. I do say. From our excellence in sports to our prestige in academics, you couldn't find a prouder crowd. The Lions must be unbelievable. You've got that right. Fairfield's ever-expanding programs pave way for prime educational opportunities. They truly are second to none. You wouldn't be mistaken there. In the fourth quarter, just the same way as we started the game. Everything tied. This time, though, 42 points later for each ball club. The score 42 all. We begin the fourth and final quarter. Fairfield with the basketball. Out top, it's Miller. Miller kicks it out left side to Friend. And again, that's uh, Griffin Friend. McIntosh goes right side, puts it up off the glass. Nope, rebound back. McIntosh puts oh. it back up. Nope, rebound tipped around. We'll have a foul called 
against Fairfield, I believe. How about that athleticism? No, they're going to say, excuse me, I'm sorry, Brett. That's off uh, against the Lancers. Yes. Logan McIntosh on that second attempt got his own rebound. Midair switched from right hand to left hand, almost got it to drop. Foul shot up and good. Fairfield retakes the lead. 43-42 with 7.36 to go in our ball game. Second foul shot, misses, the ball, uh, misses, but McIntosh gets it back, puts it up again. Nope, tipped back out, and the Lancers will get it back. So Fairfield with one point lead, misses the foul shot and a tip, and Cottrell will go the other way. McIntosh, he now has 14 points in the game. And back out top, Earhart for a three shot, no, rims it off. Rebound back down to Miller. Fairfield with the ball again, leading by one, 7-13 to go in the ball game. Larkin Friend directs a little traffic out there. And Friend, a little spin move off the left side, loses the ball away, turnover. And we'll go back again. Tariq Cottrell for a three, no, rebound. Back down underneath, and it'll be out of bounds off Fairfield. The Fairfield fans don't like that, but I'll tell you what, uh, the referee was right there on top of that. Keith Rockmorton, he was, good position, he makes the call. Back into the game, that's going to be Gabe Fouch. He will replace Griffin Friend, who gave him a nice three-point shot, the only one made thus far in the game by Fairfield. Oh, wow. Throws it up. Andrew Earhart catches it midair. Little alley-oop, 17 points now for Andrew Earhart. That score, 44-43. Federal Hawking now on top, 6.40 to go in the game. And now Fairfield with the ball. Back out to McIntosh. To House. Miller, a little ball fake. Instead goes back out to House. Snappy Tomato Pizza and West Union Seaman will name one player as our Snappy Tomato Pizza player of the game and will follow this ball game. Fouch out off the left side to Miller. Miller at the elbow. Jump shot. Nope. Rebound. Fought for. We'll have a foul against Fairfield. Larkin Friends going to pick up that foul. Struggling for that. Loose rebound there. That's his second. Team's first in this fourth quarter. 6-10 to go in the game. 44-43. Federal Hawking on top. Substitution. Mosiah Cotter is going to check in. He'll be replacing Zane Buckley for Federal Hawking. Buckley in there for a brief period. I'm not sure he ever even touched the basketball. He Joy at the foul. That was it. Joy back out to Cottrell. Again, we're down to 557 now. It's a one point ball game, 44 33. 43, excuse me. As the ball knocked away, steal the ball, friend. It's a one on one foot race. Larkin friend, hesitation shot up and in. Fairfield retakes the lead, making 45 44 with uh, 539 to go in the third, fourth quarter, excuse me. Great patience by Larkin friend. Good body control. And now it's a foul against Fairfield. Gabe Fouch is going to pick up that foul. That's only his first team second in this fourth quarter. One point lead Fairfield, 45-44, 5.38 to go in the game. Federal Hawking with possession. Cottrell inbounds to Mosiah Cottrell. Bounce pass to Tariq in the corner. Shot for a three up and in, and oh. it's a four-point play. That's expensive. That's expensive. That makes it a 48-2. 40, I think that's what they're going to call it. They're going to say before. Yep. They're going to call that. Caden Miller trying to close out on that three-point shot by Cottrell. Gets there a little late, hits Cottrell. Cottrell hits the basket. 47-45 now. They retake it. They take a two-point lead, make it a three-point lead as he hits the foul shot. Timeout on the floor. Federal Hawking, we're back after this on Good Guys Radio TV and C103. Southern Ohio Retro Foam installs open and closed cell foam insulation for existing and new construction homes, pole barns, and more. Retro Foam injected foam wall insulation will save you money on your energy bills, decrease noise, and add comfort by sealing even the smallest of openings in your walls, crawl space, or attic, whether you have metal, masonry, or frame construction. Southern Ohio Retro Foam is locally owned and operated and is located in Hillsboro, Ohio. Call Wes at 937-402-0536 to request a free quote. Visit SouthernOhioRetroFoam.com for more information. 
back to a three-point ball game. Federal Hockey with the lead, 5.32 to go in our fourth and final quarter, and that is our fourth and final scoreboard update brought to you by H&R Block in West Union. They are your tax and financial partner. Fairfield will put the ball in play, trailing by three with 5.30 to go in our ball game. McIntosh in the backcourt has the ball taken away, and it'll be a turnover. Cottrell goes the other way to Earhart. Shot up, no good. He's fouled. He'll shoot two foul shots. Markham Friend's going to pick up his third foul. Somewhat of a quasi alley oop play there. Thanks again to Health Source of Ohio, providing unique and comprehensive approach to health right in your community. Andrew Earhart's going to go to the line. He has 17 points on the evening. He's a senior. He's two for two from the free throw line. 5.20 to go in the ball game. I'm Don Bowles along with Brett Spencer. Special thanks to our studio producer, uh, Lily Randolph, and, of course, our producer, director on our Good Guys Radio TV broadcast, Miss Maggie Dean. Andrew Earhart, nice player. 18 points in the game for Federal Hockey. He hits the first foul shot. He'll get a chance for a second. And he makes it. It's back to a... uh, Five-point lead, make it 50-45. Oh. Good and defense by Tariq Cottrell. Gets his ball to go off the foot of Larkin Friend. Immediate turnover. We have a timeout on the floor. We'll be back after this on Good Guys Radio TV Network and see 103. Whether it's a lightweight entry-level RV or a luxurious second home on wheels that you're looking for, start your family's RV adventure at Sherwood Auto and Camper Sales in Hillsboro. Take advantage of huge savings on leftover 2023 models with five different Coachman lines to choose from. Sherwood also has the largest parts and accessories store in the area, as well as a full-service center for all types of RVs. The best family memories are made on a camping trip. Visit Sherwood Auto and Camper Sales, 1460 North High Street in Hillsboro. Scores 50 to 45, 518 to go in our ball game. And Brett, this is a very critical time in this ball game, isn't it? I agree. I'm sitting looking at the uh, scoreboard. Five points isn't much as far as being uh, at a deficit. But uh, I don't know. Uh, the momentum has changed strongly. And uh, it's going to be a big stop here and uh, get that momentum back for Fairfield. In the first four minutes and excuse me, two minutes and 42 seconds here in the fourth quarter. Federal Hawkins outscored Fairfield uh, 10 to five. And that's the difference in our ball game. We were tied at the three quarter break, 42 all. As Tariq Cottrell will put the ball in play now to Fairfield. And as we keep talking about, it's a game of runs. Now we just need a Fairfield run. As Cottrell gets it inbounds, back over out top. to McPherson and then a shot from the corner. It's off the mark, no good. Rebound, Fouch. And it'll be out of bounds off Fairfield. Uh, tough break there for Fairfield as the ball will remain with Federal Hawking. Good hustle by Fouch trying to save that ball that had come off one of his fellow players. Federal Hawking maintains possession. They have a five-point lead. 5-12 to go in the fourth quarter, 50-45 to 45 the score. As Cottrell tried to bounce it off of one of the Fairfield players again. And that time it failed. It just went back out of bounds. As, uh, again, the Lancers will get the ball underneath their own basket. They'll rerun whatever offense it was they were running. Now way out top, they'll go there to McPherson. They'll get Cottrell cutting off the baseline out top as well. 5.06 to go in the ball game. And I mentioned it, Brett. Uh, yes. There we they go. throw the ball away. Turnover. Almost looked like they were going to spread the floor, and I can't imagine they yeah. would do that this early. But that's kind of what it looked like when they came out of that last time out. Yeah, Tree Cottrell backed up to half court. Fairfield, nice job trapping, and he just completely threw it out of bounds. Larkin Friend with the ball, his team down by five. Off the screen goes left side. Kicks it far left side, now to House. House just off the side of the elbow. Nope, rebound down underneath. Mosiah Cottrell out ahead. He'll find off the right side for a three shot. Off the rim, Joy. Rebound, Larkin Friend again. Larkin Friend's seventh rebound in the game. Ahead to McIntosh. McIntosh waits for the defense to go by and scores. Beautiful. Logan McIntosh now 15 points in the game. 50 to 47. And you know, it feels like he scored more than that. 427 to go in the. Uh, well, he has Don Bowl. He has 16 points. I failed to give him a point. <laughs> Excuse me. 16 instead of 15. I didn't 15. mean it that way. That was a free throw I missed. 
50 to 47. That's good. 50. I knew that. You know, that's why I said that. How you keep up with all this? I don't know. Gee, I don't know. It's those little handwriting on my palm. 50 to 47 is the score as the ball is out of bounds. There's been a foul called, taking their time. Yes. And Trey House picks up that foul. That's his second. And the Lancers will be stepping to the foul line every foul for the balance of the ball game, and that makes a big difference. 15 foul on Fairfield. And the foul shot, no good. That's Mosiah Cottrell at the foul line. Mosiah, a sophomore. Tariq, a senior. I don't know if they're related or not. Griffin Friend comes back in the game. He replaces Gabe Fouch. 4-10 to go in our fourth and final quarter. It's a three-point ball game. Mosiah misses the second foul shot. Larkin Friend with the basketball. Bounce pass ahead to House. Back out to Friend. Again, the winner of this ball game goes on to play Tuesday night here at the Convocation Center versus South Webster, 8 p.m. here at Ohio University. How about Griffin Friend? Freshman steps back in the game. He's already hit a three. Great long rebound there by Griffin Friend. Larkin Friend off the left wing, loose, almost loses the ball. Good recovery. Now from the corner, McIntosh, a three shot. No, pops out. Rebound down underneath. Tariq Cottrell comes out with it with a little help there by Mosiah. Only two three-pointers on the evening for Fairfield. 50 to 47 the score. And they're a pretty nice three-point shooting ball club. It's really yes, unusual are. for them. Cottrell, spin move off the right elbow. Kicks it back out to Earhart. Earhart stopped there by McIntosh. Back over again, left side to Joy. And again, Brett, I swear it almost looks like going to take the air out of the ball. As down underneath the shot put up McPherson, he misses it, but he'll shoot foul shots. Foul's going to be called on Logan McIntosh. A little late to the spot. His second foul. And again, they've already committed five team fouls for uh, Fairfield. Every foul committed will be uh, putting fe uh, Federal Hawking on the line. Only one team foul on Federal Hawking in this fourth quarter. We'll be back here tomorrow morning. We'll be on the air at about 11.15. It'll be North Adams taking on Minford, a boys division three district championship ball game. First foul shot is good. Make the score 51-47. It's a four point ball game with 3.03 to go in regulation. Second foul shot, he hits that one as well. It's back to a five point game, 52-47. Three minutes on the nose to go. Larkin Friend with the ball. His team trails to Miller. Miller back out again to McIntosh. McIntosh dishes it there to uh, Friend. Friend, a little runner, shot up. Nope, he's fouled. He'll shoot two foul shots. Griffin Friend, the freshman, will go to the foul line. Mosaic well, Cottrell is going to pick up that foul, I believe, and he does. His first, team second. But it's no. a two, it was a shooting foul, so going to the free throw line to shoot two, he's going to be Griffin Friend. Griffin Friend, this will be his first free throw attempt of the season. And his first foul shot up and in. Not a problem. Nobody in real foul trouble. Larkin Friend has three, but we're late in the ball game. That's not really too many. Gabe Fouch back into the game. He replaces Trey House for Fairfield. 52-48 the score now as Griffin Friend will have a second foul shot, and he hits that one as well. 52-49 now. We're back to a single possession, three-point game. 2.41 to go. Tariq Cottrell directs a little traffic. Bounce pass left side there to Joy. Joy back to Cottrell again. Back to Joy. 2.28 to go. Looks at Mosiah Cottrell, goes there, and the ball knocked away. Larkin Friend with the steal. Oh, foul, oh, too. Oh, yeah, there's going to be a foul. It's only going to be the uh, third team foul. It was going to be called on Tariq Cottrell. That is his third personal foul. And that could almost have been a uh, intentional foul there. As 2.20, we had one of those a little earlier today. 2.20 to go in the ball game. The score 52-49. Tell you, that young man that... Keeps his floor all mopped up. He's right on it again. He hustles, doesn't yes, he? Yes, he does. Cade Miller out to Larkin. Larkin off the screen by McIntosh. Crossover dribble goes left side. Spin move at the elbow. Shot oh, up and in. Beautiful. We're down to a one-point ball game. Make it 52-51. The Lancers. 
with two minutes to go in our ball game. Buck and Friend, 18 points, eight rebounds. Tariq Cottrell, a jump just inside the arc. No, rebound down, McIntosh. Back to Friend, minute 48 to go. A hand left side, and the ball knocked away. Miscue, off the right side, drive again. Shot oh. by McPherson, no, and we'll have what? It's out of bounds. All ball defense. Mr. Larkin Friend getting back on defense. Tough break there for Fairfield. An unforced turnover with a minute 39 to go in the ball game. The score 52-51. They need another stop. Inbounds it comes. It'll go to Earhart. Earhart with a three shot. I'm sure that's not what they wanted him to do. Friend on the rebound. Out ahead right side to Miller. And we've got timeout on the floor of Fairfield. We're back after this on Good Guys Radio TV and C103. Dealing with a backed up toilet, a slow draining sink, or standing water in your shower? Let the experts at Zoom Drain handle all your drain and sewer needs. Their team of highly trained specialists have all the equipment to get your wastewater lines flowing their best, whether it's an emergency or planned maintenance. Don't let a clogged drain or sewer ruin your day. Give Alex with Zoom Drain a call at 513-301-2815 to schedule your service today. Welcome back again, ladies and gentlemen. Minute 32 seconds to go in our ball game. 52-51. It is the Lancers leading the Lions, and there's nobody coaches with much more passion than Quentin Williams, is there? No, he's uh, he's awfully good in late games and tight games. So he's the guy you want on there, but uh, he's very passionate about what he does. These uh, referees have done such a nice job tonight. Keith Throckmorton, Rod Nichols, Jimmy Nicholson. Standing by was Caleb Eppeling if they needed him which we hope they don't. He's the alternate. Yes. Minute 32 to go in the game. It's Federal Hawking Lancers leading the Fairfield Lions by one. 52 to 51 the score. And you know South Webster is a very, very good basketball team. But both these teams are pretty good. And uh, it should be a real ball game between South Webster and the winner of this game. Miller will put the ball in play to Friend. Friend dribbling around almost the midcourt. Off the right side, takes it in. Now, Friend for a shot up for a three. Nope, Larkin Friend gets it back, puts it up off oh, the glass yes. and in, and one! Yes, sir! 53 to 52. Fairfield retakes the lead by one, and Larkin Friend can make it a two-point lead. Andrew Earhart picks up that foul. His second, we have back into the game, Mr. Trey House. Larkin Friend will step to the foul line to shoot a foul line with a minute 19 to go. A one-point ball game, Fairfield leading 53-52. Zane Buckley checks in for Federal Hawking. 20 points for Larkin Friend. Misses the foul shot. Rebound back down to Rick Cottrell. Back the other way we go. Fairfield leading. Earhart to Cottrell, minute nine to go. Bounce pass behind the defense down there to uh, Buckley. And we have timeout on the floor again. We're back after this on Good Guys Radio TV and C103. At Southern Hills Community Bank, we take great pride in building strong relationships with our customers. We're dedicated to providing the best products and services to fit your needs, like checking and savings, home and auto loans, plus ATM and debit cards, online banking, bill pay, and mobile banking with mobile deposit. Visit southernhillscommunitybank.com or stop by any of our eight convenient locations. We want to be your bank. Southern Hills Community Bank, member FDIC and equal housing lender. Customer service with a difference. The score is 53-52. It's Fairfield leading by one. And Brett, a minute and five seconds to go. Quite a ball game we've watched here. Quite a ball game. We knew they were evenly matched. We knew both of them prepared. Both of them came in um, five and four game win streaks. And they are putting quite a show on for their fans tonight. Fairfield Lion faithful here in a huge numbers. Just uh what a nice turnout for the Fairfield Lions. Ready to come back and watch them play South Webster on Tuesday night here at OU. Cottrell will put the ball in play for the Lancers. Underneath the basket, a minute five to go. 
his team down by one. Out there, Buckley, by the way, off the right side, McPherson. That's a little surprise. He's not played most of the game. Now out to Cottrell. Back over right side there to McPherson. Now they'll go inside, and the ball knocked away. Buckley has it, and a block by Larkin Friend out of bounds. It goes. Fairfield will get it back with 50.8 seconds to go in the ball game. With a one-point lead, Fairfield gets the ball back. Larkin Friend, two big rejections here in the last minute. He has 20 points, seven assists, 10 rebounds. What a night for Larkin Friend. Inbounds, the ball will come in the backcourt. Friend caught in a double team back there. Picks up the ball, gets it up ahead, and we got timeout on the floor of Fairfield. We'll take one, two. We're back after this on Good Guys Radio TV and C103. How well will your roof hold up to heavy wind and rain this spring? You could already have a leak that you don't even know about. Avoid spending thousands of dollars on costly repairs with a free roof inspection by the experts at RoofX. Family owned and operated, RoofX brings decades of industry experience, family values, and a customer first approach to everything they do. Get a no obligation inspection today from RoofX. Call 937-509-8085 or visit RoofXUSA.com. Peace of mind, one roof at a time. 41.8 41.8 seconds to go in the ball game. The score 53-52. Fairfield with the lead and the basketball. They will put it in play. If you're watching on Good Guys Radio TV, you know this. If you're listening on C103, it's right at the midcourt. In the backcourt, though, they will have to get it across the timeline. Miller will pull the trigger. He'll put the ball in play, and they are going to defend the in- No, they are not. They started to defend the inbound, but instead, McPherson backs off. Now, any, any fouls committed puts their opponent on the line for two. Larkin Friend dribbles ahead off the right side, and he's quickly fouled, and he'll go to the foul line. Tree Cottrell picks up his fourth point, or fourth foul, excuse me. If I'm the Lancers coach, I see what he's doing. He's going to keep it a single possession game here by, at the most, giving up two points. Larkin Friend is two for four from the free throw line. He hit his first two free throws in that second quarter. He's missed his last two free throws. Hits that one, makes it 54-52. He's back. 21 points now for Larkin Friend. 37.9 seconds to go in the game, and that's an interesting change. I agree. Coming in is going to be Mr. Dylan Haynes. A sophomore that's not touched the floor yet tonight. Has not been on the floor, and there's 38 seconds to go. And he makes a second foul shot. Make it 55-52 now to Reek Cottrell. Will bring the ball down the floor for the Lancers. He'll direct a little traffic, swings it out left side. Dribbling around out there's Joy. Shot up, no good. Rebound down there, he's Larkin Friend. Out ahead, it's a foul. Foul. Under pressure is fouled. I'll tell you what, now they may they may call that an intentional foul. Grabbed the shirt and pulled him. Nope. I, you know, and that's one of those time things. I agree with you, but this time of the game, they yeah. kind of let him get by. Yeah, with, with this quality of uh, referee crew, I get it. You uh, know, you're not, the coach is not supposed to tell you to intentionally foul, but they never called this late because everybody knows what you're doing. Yeah, going to the line, Gabe Fouch, he's a 75% free throw shooter, 21 for 28 on the season. And he misses the first one. He can still make it a two-possession game if he'll hit this foul shot. And I believe he will. 22.5 seconds to go. Dribbles the ball a couple of times, and he hits the foul shot. It's a two-possession game. 56-52 now, 22 and a half seconds to go. Just got to slow it down a little bit, get them slowed down, and we'll get a timeout again. Lancers, we're back after this on Good Guys Radio TV and C103. One of the most iconic Ohio River properties in Southern Ohio is now available. The former location of Moyer Winery is a 61-acre property with nearly 24 acres of riverside and a half mile of river frontage, plus 38 acres of timber. The existing three-bedroom, two-bathroom home features full-view windows that maximize the incredible river view. Outdoor amenities include a 26 by 44 shelter house, a gazebo, and a 36 by 48 tobacco barn. For more details about this property, visit thedickeygroup.com. 19 and a half seconds to go. It's a two possession game. The score is 56 52. Fairfield with the lead. The Lancers will put the ball in play in front of the scorer's table in the front court. Now, I think the big key here, Brett, it's not so bad that they score. Obviously, you don't foul them when they're scoring, but to slow them down. Slow you got to run some time off. It'll be interesting if they pull up for the three. We just got a nice request from. 
a, a very knowledgeable uh, basketball fan, Mr. David Gifford. He wanted to know how many three-pointers by Federal Hawking. They have eight three-pointers in the game thus far. And 56-52 the score. As Tariq Cottrell will put the ball in play. Over off the right side. He gets it in there to Joy. Back to Cottrell. Out top. We're down to 15 seconds. Oh my. And he throws the ball away. Turnover. Lancers. Fairfield will get the ball back. 14.5 seconds to go. What a turn of events. Fairfield will put the ball in play. Leading by four with 14 and a half seconds to go. Friend has the ball tipped away. But a good save by Fouch uh -huh. and a foul. And oh my. He accidentally knocked Fouch to the floor. Tariq Cottrell did not mean to do that. He's helping Fouch up. He helped Gabe Fouch up. You could tell immediately he was remorseful. Creep. It was not purposeful, but boy, did Gabe Fouch take a tumble. 12.6 seconds to go. Tariq Cottrell will foul out of the ball game. He's had quite a game tonight. 19 points, one for one from the free throw line. I'll tell you who, well, other than the mom, was very concerned about uh, Mr. Gabe Fouch, but that uh, Fairfield baseball coach was probably a little concerned when he saw that too. Huh? <laughs> yes, he was. What a pitcher coach, Gabe Fouch coach is. Coach Zimmerman uh, down there in front of us on the right. But, you know, it was a great conversation we had with him before the game. He was talking about he really wants the kids. He, he wants to play baseball. He misses the first foul shot. He wants to play baseball, but he's really worried about the kids. Want them to go as far as they can go. He'd Absolutely. love to see them make it a, a state championship to heck, you know, uh, he can wait to get him back for baseball. Fouch, second foul shot, misses both of them. Rebound, Earhart. Earhart off the right side, dribbling ahead, down to eight seconds. The ball thrown away again. Larkin Friend has it. Out ahead to House. House has the ball, and the Fairfield Lions are moving on to the Sweet 16. We'll be back right after this on Good Guys Radio TV and C103. Dealing with a backed up toilet, a slow draining sink, or standing water in your shower? Let the experts at Zoom Drain handle all your drain and sewer needs. Their team of highly trained specialists have all the equipment to get your wastewater lines flowing their best, whether it's an emergency or planned maintenance. Don't let a clogged drain or sewer ruin your day. Give Alex with Zoom Drain a call at 513-301-2815 to schedule your service today. ProGen's Next Generation Technology Flooring is designed to stand up to the demands of modern life. And it's available now at the Winchester Carpet Outlet. Because ProGen is durable, waterproof, dimensionally stable, and easy to install, it can be used in any room, including rooms that are most prone to moisture and spills, like kitchens and baths. For top quality flooring, service, and selection at prices that'll floor you, visit the Winchester Carpet Outlet, just off State Route 32 on Tri-County Road, just a few miles west of Winchester, Ohio, and online at Winchester Carpet Outlet. Outlet.com. Who is Barry Chevrolet? Why don't you ask your friends and neighbors? Because after 70 years and four generations in the automotive industry, odds are we've made a happy customer out of somebody you know. Hard-working, proud Americans drive Chevrolets, and that's why we sell them at Barry's. Hats off to everybody driving a Silverado truck. You're my kind of people. Barry Chevrolet your best deal dealer. What we believe matters because it shapes who we are. At First State Bank, we believe in rural communities we have since our start in 1884. We're proud of where we come from. And while others have come and gone, we've remained because standing by the folks you believe in is what a real local bank does. First State Bank, built on belief. Welcome back again, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you're listening to C-103 and watching on Good Guys Radio TV. If you're not aware on Good Guys on C-103, of course, you could have watched the game. But for all of you out there, whether you've watched or not, uh, you can go back and uh, watch this game on archives. In the archives, you can watch it anytime, any place. Uh, as uh, what a game to watch. As as I speak, the Fairfield uh, Lions are watching the Federal Hawking Lancers received their runner-up medals in a district championship basketball game. 
the Fairfield Lions, what a ball game it was. As the Fairfield Lions are the district champion, Southeast District Division 4. They will move on to play Tuesday night from here at Ohio University, the Convocation Center, at 8 p.m. against South Webster in a sweet 16 basketball game. This game was uh, was one that people will remember for a long, long, long time as uh, it was back and forth, back and forth. And if you were a fan, I think it would be more appropriate to say, if you're a fan of federal hockey, you would be a little more surprised uh, because at often, even in there in the second half, it looked like federal hockey was going to take charge of the basketball game. But Fairfield Lions down uh, with a minute, with 56 seconds to go, they retook the lead. 40, it was tied, actually. Let's put it this way. I'm sorry. It was uh, actually uh, they took the lead for the final time. The score 53-52 is what they took the final score. And I'm going to take a break, and I'm going to I'm going to keep it right here, though. And I want everybody to listen. We're going to see if we can't pick it up on the floor so everybody can enjoy listening to the presentation of medals for the Fairfield Lions players. What a special time for the Fairfield Lions as they receive their medals as the district champions here in the Southeast District Division Three district champions. They will now proceed to cut the nets. We'll continue with our Will and Son Trucking postgame show. We'll be having a conversation with Coach Quentin Williams during our ACRMC Coaches Comments show. We will also name our Snappy Tomato Pizza Player of the Game. But Let's continue with our William Sun Trucking postgame show after this here on Good Guys Radio TV and C103. Snap, 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 oh, that's your family's stomach hungry for dinner. And the best way to tame that savage beast is by feeding it a beast pizza from Snappy Tomato Pizza. Beast pizza. The beast pizza is equal to three large pizzas. Get one with one topping, only $26.99. Or get the junior beast, bigger than an extra large, with one topping, only $15.99. For fast, snappy delivery, go to snappytomato.com. Dealing with a backed up toilet, a slow draining sink, or standing water in your shower? Let the experts at Zoom Drain handle all your drain and sewer needs. Their team of highly trained specialists have all the equipment to get your wastewater lines flowing their best, whether it's an emergency or planned maintenance. Don't let a clogged drain or sewer ruin your day. Give Alex with Zoom Drain a call at 513-301-2815 to schedule your service today. That's the sound of your truck losing you money. Whether you're a major trucking operation or an independent owner, you're losing business. Let me give you some advice. Call Willie & Son Trucking. Their certified Caterpillar, Cummings, and Detroit experts can get your truck moving so you can get back to doing business. Call Willie & Son Trucking for an overhaul or glider kit rebuild at 937-763-9521. Keep your business rolling with Willie & Son Trucking. to prove to myself that I could go to college and get my degree. What if I went to Southern State? What if I'm able to go and become that nurse or that lawyer or that teacher? Southern State Community College allows students to rise above the circumstances that they're surrounded by and become something more than they ever dreamed possible.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Willie Sun Trucking Post Game Show in the first quarter. Federal Hawking won at 14 to 10. Second quarter, Fairfield won at 13 to 12, but Federal Hawking still led at halftime 26-23. Third quarter, Fairfield won the next one as well, 19 to 16. At the three-quarter mark, well, it seems to be a fitting situation. It was tied 42 all. But Federal Hawking was to come back and lead uh, at times by as much as four and five points. But Fairfield was not to be denied as uh, they come back and then win the ball game, 56-52, the final score. The Fairfield Lions are the regional champions. From here at Ohio University, the Convocation Center, we'll take a quick break. Up next, Mr. Brett Spencer has individual team stats for Federal Hawking, but first this here on Good Guys Radio TV and C103. Welcome to Jerry Hegg Motors in Hillsborough, your local Chevrolet dealer for over 50 years. I am Steve Hegg, owner, along with my twin daughters, Mindy and Mandy. We operate our family-owned business. We take care of our customers like friends and family. If you need a new Chevrolet or pre-owned vehicle, service, parts, or body shop, think of Jerry Hegg Motors in Hillsborough. Proudly supporting the youth of our community. Stop in today for a great deal. Trade-ins welcome. Financing available to qualified buyers. Trying to find a durable new look for your retail office, house, garage, or new barn dominium? Higgins Steel Roofing and Siding has added two new profiles within the past year that would make great options. A heavier 26-gauge metal board and batten with several colors to choose from adds a fresh new look to any project regardless of size. Or come in and check out our new options for standing seam. If it's steel roofing and siding, it comes from Higgins. Located in Hillsboro and Jackson, Higgins Steel Roofing and Siding. Family owned and operated since 1958. So I thought you quit. I tried. You know that thing can blow up in your face, right? We just watched a video in class about how nicotine can mess up the way your brain develops. <laughs> That's the last thing you need. But for real, you should probably tell your parents. Yeah, I guess you're right. Hey, can you come with me? Yeah, I got you. Let's go. It's almost here. Copas for another long three. Wow. The biggest game of the year. Three-point shot on the buzzer. It's oh! up. It's good. The 39th annual C103 Shaq Senior All-Star Games are coming Friday, March 22nd. Join us at North Adams High School for a night full of basketball action. Featuring the girls and boys All-Star Games, All-Star Cheerleaders, Hot Shot and Slam Dunk Contests, and more. Doors open at 5. The first games tip off at 6 p.m. Be there. Great game. Thanks for uh, letting me be here with you and share this game with you. And for our listeners, thanks for letting us be your eyes and your ears on this game. And uh, we hope you enjoyed it. Federal Hawking in that first quarter came out and shot 5 for 12 from the field, 42%. 2 for 4 from beyond the arc, 50%. Federal Hawking had established a 14-10 lead at the first quarter break. Federal Hawking came right back out and shot 5 for 9 from the field in the second quarter, 2 for 4 from beyond the arc. Overall in that first half, 10 for 21 from the field, 48%. Four for eight from beyond the arc, 50%. But Fairfield had cut that four-point lead after the first quarter break down to three, 26-23, Federal Hawking on top. Third quarter, it was uh, the quarter for uh, Fairfield, quite frankly. But uh, good shooting, Federal Hawking shot six for 10 from the field, 60%. And this is the reason you get these calls from people like Dave Gifford saying, hey, how many threes did they hit? In that third quarter, they went four for six from beyond the arc, 67% from beyond the arc, but the game was all tied, as Don said, same as it was at the beginning of the game, 42-42. Fourth quarter, well, they went cold. Two for eight, 25% from the field, 0 for three from beyond the arc overall in that second half, eight for 18 for Federal Hawking, 44%. Second half, four for nine from beyond the arc, that is 44% as well. Overall in the game for Federal Hawking, 19 for 39 from the field, 49%. That wins a lot of games. 8 for 17 from beyond the arc. That wins a whole lot of games, 47%. But not in this game. It was Fairfield, 56, Federal Hawking, 52. And then you add this in there. Listen how Federal Hawking shot from the free throw line. First half, 2 for 2. Second half, 5 for 5. 7 for 7, perfect from the free throw line, 100%. They had five different players get in the scoring column for Federal Hawking. It was uh, Cameron Joy, a sophomore. He had two points. 
He also committed one foul. Next, you had Mosiah Cottrell. He had three points, went 0 for 2 from the free throw line. Those attempts coming in that fourth quarter. Next, we had Evan McPherson. He had nine points on the evening. He's a senior, two for two from the free throw line. He committed two fouls. And you had two really spectacular players uh, as far as shooting, 19 points each. Tariq Cottrell, he had 19 points. He's a senior, one for one from the free throw line. He fouled out with 12.6 seconds to go, but what a nice player Tariq Cottrell was. And then also Andrew Earhart, he had 19 points, four for four from the free throw line. He committed two fouls in the game. And from where Earhart was shooting, I'd have to have a potato gun to even get it to the rim from where he was shooting. It was deep, deep, deep. And so uh, that are your five players. Again, Tree Cottrell and also Andrew Earhart, 19 points each, leading scorers for Federal Hawking Lancers. As you can see, the celebration continues down on the floor as they're now taking pictures of the Fairfield Lions, the cheerleaders and the staff. Everybody full smiles as they should be. We're back after this. The Williams on Trucking Post Game Show continues here on Good Guys Radio TV and C103. Dealing with a backed up toilet, a slow draining sink, or standing water in your shower? Let the experts at Zoom Drain handle all your drain and sewer needs. Their team of highly trained specialists have all the equipment to get your wastewater lines flowing their best, whether it's an emergency or planned maintenance. Don't let a clogged drain or sewer ruin your day. Give Alex with Zoom Drain a call at 513-301-2815 to schedule your service today. Have you heard the roar of the lion? No. I can't say that we have. Well, allow me to give you a look into that sacred call. Please, enlighten us. The Fairfield Lions rally on the roar, instilling pride and hearts for generations to come. You don't say. I do say. From our excellence in sports to our prestige in academics, you couldn't find a prouder crowd. The Lions must be unbelievable. You've got that right. Fairfield's ever-expanding programs pave way for prime educational opportunities. They truly are second to none. You wouldn't be mistaken there. Southern Ohio Retro Foam installs open and closed cell foam insulation for existing and new construction homes, pole barns, and more. Retro Foam injected foam wall insulation will save you money on your energy bills, decrease noise, and add comfort by sealing even the smallest of openings in your walls, crawl space, or attic, whether you have metal, masonry, or frame construction. Southern Ohio Retro Foam is locally owned and operated and is located in Hillsboro, Ohio. Call Wes at 937-402-0536 to request a free quote. Visit SouthernOhioRetroFoam.com for more information. Whether it's a lightweight entry-level RV or a luxurious second home on wheels that you're looking for, start your family's RV adventure at Sherwood Auto and Camper Sales in Hillsboro. Take advantage of huge savings on leftover 2023 models with five different Coachman lines to choose from. Sherwood also has the largest parts and accessories store in the area, as well as a full service center for all types of RVs. The best family memories are made on a camping trip. Visit Sherwood Auto and Camper Sales, 1460 North High Street in Hillsboro. Come back again, ladies and gentlemen. Willie Sun Trucking Post Co. continues. Here's Brett Spencer with a look at the Fairfield Lions. Don Bowles, congratulations to the uh, Fairfield Lions. It's been certainly fun following them. Looking forward to hearing from Quentin Williams here in a little bit. And uh, congratulations to the whole ball club and this incredible fan base that turned out in large numbers up here. Fairfield Lions in that first quarter, they shot five for 11 from the field, 45%, not bad. 0 for 4 from beyond the arc. And in the first game of the uh, up here at OU against Manchester, they loved shooting the three-point shots in that first quarter. Couldn't get anything to drop. Federal Hawking built up a four-point lead, 14 to 10, at the first quarter break. Second quarter, again, pretty good shooting from the field. Six for 10 uh, from the field, 60%. 0 for 1 from beyond the arc overall in that first half. 11 for 21 from the field, 52%. 0 for 5 from beyond the arc in the first half for the Fairfield Lions. And they closed that four-point lead for Federal Hawking down to a three-point gap. 26-23, Federal Hawking still on top. Third quarter came out of the uh, halftime break doing very well. Eight for 13 from the field, 62%. Finally got a couple three-pointers to drop. Two for four, 50%. And I tell you, you had uh, Cade Miller and then a freshman stepping in here, Griffin Friend, to hit those two three-pointers. It was all tied after three quarters. 42-42. Fourth quarter, well, it was a... Um, very patient uh, effort by the um, Fairfield Lions. They shot four for nine, a lot of, not a lot of attempts. They were both sides trying to take the air out of the ball a little bit. 
Uh, four for nine from the field, 44%. They went back to Cole from beyond the arc, 0 for two overall in the second half for the Fairfield Lions. 12 for 22, 55%, two for six from beyond the arc. That's 33% overall in the game. They had uh, four more field goal attempts than did um, the uh, Federal Hawking Lancers. Uh, for Fairfield, they went 23 for 43 from the field, 53%. Two for 11 from beyond the arc, 18%. From the free throw line, two for three in that first half, 67%. Second half, seven for 12, 58%. Overall, nine for 15, 60%. Now, they had six players get in the scoring column. Uh, it was uh, Trey House with two points. Trey House got assigned the job to try and shut down Mr. Earhart. He was on him like glue all night. Uh, Trey House tonight, his job was to play defense, not to score. He had two points, and he did a nice job on defense. He also committed two fouls. Next, he had a couple players with five points. Cade Miller, he had five points, two fouls. And then Griffin Friend, again, a freshman, five foot eleven, comes in and hits a three-pointer in that third quarter, which was desperately needed. Then he gets to the free throw line in that fourth quarter. These free throws were desperately needed. He knocks them both down. He finishes five points, two for two from the free throw line. Nice job, Mr. Griffin Friend. Gabe Fouch, he had a total of six points on the evening. Uh, he went two for five from the free throw line. He committed one foul, and his job was not so much offense. It was Tariq Cottrell that he was needing to shut down, and he did a nice job. Next, we have a couple players in double digits. You expect it out of them. Logan McIntosh, he had 16 points, went one for two from the free throw line. He committed two fouls. And then you had Larkin Friend. Leading scorer in the game, 22 points. Kind of quiet, really, 22 points. 22 points in the game, four for six from the free throw line. He committed three foul, but listen to Larkin Friend as well. He had seven assists, 12 rebounds, a double-double, 22 points, 12 rebounds, seven assists, and he also had two blocks deep in that fourth quarter to uh, change the momentum in favor of Fairfield. That final score, 52-56, Fairfield on top, and I think we have Coach Quentin Williams. I can't wait to hear him. We will. We'll be right back after we switch things around, right after this on Good Guys Radio TV. Up next, the ACRMC Coach's Comment Show with Quentin Williams right after this here on C103 and Good Guys Radio TV. Dealing with a backed-up toilet, a slow-draining sink, or standing water in your shower? Let the experts at Zoom Drain handle all your drain and sewer needs. Their team of highly trained specialists have all the equipment to get your wastewater lines flowing their best, whether it's an emergency or planned maintenance. Don't let a clogged drain or sewer ruin your day. Give Alex with Zoom Drain a call at 513-301-2815 to schedule your service today. At Southern Hills Community Bank, we take great pride in building strong relationships with our customers. We're dedicated to providing the best products and services to fit your needs, like checking and savings, home and auto loans, plus ATM and debit cards, online banking, bill pay, and mobile banking with mobile deposit. Visit southernhillscommunitybank.com. How well will your roof hold up to heavy wind and rain this spring? You could already have a leak that you don't even know about. Avoid spending thousands of dollars on costs. You said you want some excitement up here. We, we don't have enough excitement? I want all the excitement now. What do you think? I'm proud of my club for uh, sticking with it throughout the entire game. So tonight was a game of uh, will, I feel like, and um, <clears throat> I thought we just believed once again from beginning to end that we were going to get it done, and we did. This was an interesting game because it was a game of runs, but it was never a game of runs where you guys were on top it yeah. was just always our game of runs to catch up wasn't it yeah um <clears throat> they they shot they shot the lights out of the ball um the both of those kids hit tough shots after tough shot and eventually i just told them you know stay composed stay composed keep playing good defense and eventually they're going to stop falling and eventually they did we threw some different things at them there in the fourth quarter got them out of their rhythm probably should have done a little bit earlier but then we gained the momentum there, and we were patient. And uh, <clears throat> I just couldn't be more proud of my kids. Difference between the first time you played them and this time. What was the difference? Uh, <clears throat> just the way they shot the ball, uh, I think. I mean, uh, several times, I mean, we'd be right there with one, two people uh, contesting in their face, and they, they would hit them. So um, I, I don't think anything necessarily different. Uh, both game plans were very similar. Uh, like I said, we adjusted a little bit there in the fourth quarter. That helped us out some and threw some different things at them. But uh, I think it's very similar. They just made shots. The play you got out of your friend off the uh, off the freshman off the off yeah. the bench. How could you ever expect expect that at the beginning of the year? No, you can't. I mean, uh, but he's such a high IQ player, and he's Larkin's little brother. So right. I mean, uh, that doesn't explain anything. I don't know what does. But uh, he's just uh, so smart, and I envision him playing this year just because his IQ is so high, and he's not scared of the moment, obviously. So. 
uh, I'm proud of him for stepping up. No surprise team effort tonight, wasn't it? Yeah, for sure, for sure. And uh, Larkin kind of carried us there a little bit in the fourth quarter, um, getting to his spots and getting downhill. And uh, I couldn't be more proud of all those uh, seniors. I've uh, been with them for a long time. And this has been our goal, and we're not going to stop. We're going to keep going. Biggest surprise tonight? Um, I would say uh, Federal Hawkins, um, relentless. Uh, they, had, they had a lot of willpower to them. You know, it took everything we had to, to get over that hump. Uh, they were very relentless, and they were not going to back down no matter what. So credit to them, and especially credit to the Cottrell kid and the Earhart kid. Those, those two are a heck of players. One final question. I'll let you go celebrate some more. South Webster, it's going to be a challenge, isn't it? It will. It'll look a little bit different. Uh, obviously, they're a little bit bigger. Um, <clears throat> I thought Trimble had a pretty decent game plan uh, against them if they could have controlled the ball a little bit better and not turn the ball over. But, uh, you know, we'll take the next few days to get ready for them and uh, practice, come up with a game plan, and see what we can do. Thank you, Quentin. Yeah, Quentin appreciate Williams. all you do, Don. Quentin Williams joins us here on the ACRMC Coach's Comment Show. We'll be right back after this on Good Guys Radio TV and C103. At Southern Hills Community Bank, we take great pride in building strong relationships with our customers. We're dedicated to providing the best products and services to fit your needs, like checking and savings, home and auto loans, plus ATM and debit cards, online banking, bill pay, and mobile banking with mobile deposit. Visit southernhillscommunitybank.com or stop by any of our eight convenient locations. We want to be your bank. Southern Hills Community Bank, member FDIC and equal housing lender. Customer service with a difference. How well will your roof hold up to heavy wind and rain this spring? You could already have a leak that you don't even know about. Avoid spending thousands of dollars on costly repairs with a free roof inspection by the experts at RoofX. Family owned and operated, RoofX brings decades of industry experience, family values, and a customer first approach to everything they do. Get a no obligation inspection today from RoofX. Call 937-509-8085 or visit RoofXUSA.com. Peace of mind, one roof at a time. One of the most iconic Ohio River properties in Southern Ohio is now available. The former location of Moyer Winery is a 61-acre property with nearly 24 acres of riverside and a half mile of river frontage, plus 38 acres of timber. The existing three-bedroom, two-bathroom home features full-view windows that maximize the incredible river view. Outdoor amenities include a 26 by 44 shelter house, a gazebo, and a 36 by 48 tobacco barn. For more details about this property, visit thedickeygroup.com. ProGen's Next Generation Technology Flooring is designed to stand up to the demands of modern life and it's available now at the Winchester Carpet Outlet. Because ProGen is durable, waterproof, dimensionally stable, and easy to install, it can be used in any room, including rooms that are most prone to moisture and spills, like kitchens and baths. For top quality flooring, service, and selection at prices that'll floor you, visit the Winchester Carpet Outlet, just off State Route 32 on Tri-County Road, just a few miles west of Winchester, Ohio, and online at Winchester Carpet Outlet. Outlet.com. Who is Barry Chevrolet? Why don't you ask your friends and neighbors? Because after 70 years and four generations in the automotive industry, odds are we've made a happy customer out of somebody you know. Hard-working, proud Americans drive Chevrolets, and that's why we sell them at Barry's. Hats off to everybody driving a Silverado truck. You're my kind of people. Barry Chevrolet. Your best deal dealer. University of the Convocation Center of the North Ham Green Devils will take on Menford for a district championship, Division Three Southeast District, and then tomorrow night, the ladies from North Adams, the Lady Green Devils, will take on the Portsmouth Lady Trojans from Logan High School for a trip to the Final Four. The winner comes away and moves on to the University of Dayton for the Final Four. What a night that will be. Make sure you tune in for that. We'll take another break. We'll be back. We'll name our Snappy Tomato Pizza player of the game and close things up right after this as we continue the Willie and Son Trucking Post Game Show here on Good Guys Radio TV and C103. What we believe matters because it shapes who we are. At First State Bank, we believe in rural communities we have since our start in 1884. We're proud of where we come from. And while others have come and gone, we've remained because standing by the folks you believe in is what a real local bank does. First State Bank, built on belief. Snap, snap, snap. snap. 
Oh, that's your family's stomach hungry for dinner. And the best way to tame that savage beast is by feeding it a beast pizza from Snappy Tomato Pizza. Beast pizza. The beast pizza is equal to three large pizzas. Get one with one topping, only $26.99. Or get the junior beast, bigger than an extra large, with one topping, only $15.99. For fast, snappy delivery, go to snappytomato.com. Dealing with a backed up toilet, a slow draining sink, or standing water in your shower? Let the experts at Zoom Drain handle all your drain and sewer needs. Their team of highly trained specialists have all the equipment to get your wastewater lines flowing their best, whether it's an emergency or planned maintenance. Don't let a clogged drain or sewer ruin your day. Give Alex with Zoom Drain a call at 513-301-2815 to schedule your service today. That's the sound of your truck losing you money. Whether you're a major trucking operation or an independent owner, you're losing business. Let me give you some advice. Call Willie and Son Trucking. Their certified Caterpillar, Cummings, and Detroit experts can get your truck moving so you can get back to doing business. Call Willie and Son Trucking for an overhaul or glider kit rebuild at 937-763-9521. Keep your business rolling with Willie and Son Trucking. to prove to myself that I could go to college and get my degree. What if I went to Southern State? What if I'm able to go and become that nurse or that lawyer or that teacher? Southern State Community College allows students to rise above the circumstances that they're surrounded by and become something more than they ever dreamed possible. Back to Williams on trucking post game show. It's going to be time to name that snappy tomato pizza player of the game. And oh my, Brett. Uh, <laughs> what play? The freshman off the bench. Oh. What about it? Griffin Friend? Griffin Friend can play on my team anytime he wants to. I, you, and is he going to be. I, I love to see great freshmen like that because I know now you get to cover him for a few years. You get to see him develop. What a. I tell you, just game time play. He just chill. He was just icing the blood. To step up there and hit those two free throws, that's a nice three-pointer in the corner. I mean, they, it was desperately needed. But then to get up there and hit two free throws uh, in that fourth quarter deep into the game, uh, impressive. Good stuff. But we had five other players. that Man, they played basketball. Yeah, too. they did. and uh, Such a great game. You know, again, we talked about Trey House, Gabe Fouch. Both of them um, are assigned a uh, very difficult uh, defensive measure in Tariq Cottrell and Andrew Earhart, they did a great job tonight, uh, really uh, limited, limited the scoring uh, as it could have been. And uh, for the Snappy Tomato Pizza player of the game, there's a couple players. And um, midway through the uh, second quarter, I'm thinking, okay, uh, this young man, he's a junior. And then he came out and had a nice a couple, took his uh, player off the dribble, his defender off the dribble, and nice, come, nice fingertip rolls. Um, Logan McIntosh, he had 16 points on the evening. He went one for two from the free throw line, two fouls, but he played very, very well tonight. And then you have the other uh, young man. He's a senior, stands six foot one uh, inches tall. He is a um, going to be your snappy tomato pizza player of the game. He had 26, or excuse me, 22 points. Went four for six from the free throw line. He did commit three fouls. I was a little concerned. He had three fouls uh, pretty early into that uh, fourth quarter. Fourth quarter, but he had. We talk about him. He came into the game averaging 14.8 points. He had 22 tonight. He um, averages four or 9.6 rebounds tonight. He had 12 rebounds. He averages 7.6 assists. He had seven assists, and then he had two big blocks. But again, he's six foot one. He's a senior. He wears the number one jersey. His name, Larkin Friend. Larkin Friend. He is your Snappy Tomato Pizza and Seaman and West Union Player of the Game. Congratulations to you, Mr. Friend. Thank you very much. Uh, congratulations, Larkin, and the. Fairfield Lions. We've got one final break. We'll be back to talk about our schedule and more after this as we continue the Willie and Son Trucking postgame show here on Good Guys Radio TV and C103. Welcome to Jerry Haig Motors in Hillsboro, your local Chevrolet dealer for over 50 years. I am Steve Haig, owner, along with my twin daughters, Mindy and Mandy. We operate our family-owned business. 
we take care of our customers like friends and family. If you need a new Chevrolet or pre-owned vehicle, service, parts, or body shop, think of Jerry Hegg Motors in Hillsboro. Proudly supporting the youth of our community. Stop in today for a great deal. Trade-ins welcome. Financing available to qualified buyers. Trying to find a durable new look for your retail office, house, garage, or new barn dominium? Higgins Steel Roofing and Siding has added two new profiles within the past year that would make great options. A heavier 26-gauge metal board and batten with several colors to choose from adds a fresh new look to any project regardless of size. Or come in and check out our new options for standing seam. If it's steel roofing and siding, it comes from Higgins. Located in Hillsboro and Jackson, Higgins Steel Roofing and Siding. Family owned and operated since 1958. So I thought you quit. I tried. You know that thing can blow up in your face, right? We just watched a video in class about how nicotine can mess up the way your brain develops. <laughs> That's the last thing you need. But for real, you should probably tell your parents. Yeah, I guess you're right. Hey, can you come with me? Yeah, I got you. Let's go. 